This is the dogs are gonna be so annoying today. It's gonna suck. All right. I might have to lock them in. You gotta put your headphones on. Are you gonna join us or what? I was just setting my shit up. You know, it's only your second show, Ramsey. You're replaceable. I'll find another gully, like a uh, happy <coughs> big guy. I will find. There's a one. bunch of round guys with beards everywhere. I'll find another happy jolly big guy. Okay. You're very replaceable. I know, there's doppelgangers everywhere. Jesus Christ. If you couldn't cook, I mean, cooking's the only thing that's saving you. Oh, I like how it's like... What do, you, what do you cook? Whatever you want. Shit. Did you see... Dude, you re, you're not on in, Instagram, huh? Mm-mm, no. Blown it, dude. Jesus Christ. I'm actually living my life. Whatever, man. <laughs> not everybody else's. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's kind of true. Ramsey, dude. You're actually missing out on your life because Ramsey's cooking. It's like Christmas. What, what is it? Chopped it up, bunch of vegetables, kill him. Uh, jalapenos, chili peppers. Hey, you, you man the wheel while I go. Take care of the dogs. Yeah. I'm gonna so are we rolling? Is this part of the chef? I guess. thought he had to thank the sponsors. I thought that's the usually last what happens in the beginning, but he's slacking because the fucking dogs suck. So how was your ride down, Brandon? Because I already got lost. Nice. Nobody answered their phone. I know, I'm sorry. I was sleeping and it was on vibrate. I didn't even think I didn't even think he was gonna be up. Yesterday he called the I'm just getting my day started. I know. It's like noon, like twelve thirty. <laughs> this is super like not normal. I'm usually sleeping till eleven, twelve. So this is, oh it's eleven now. I'd still be sleeping normally, so yeah. So glad you woke up. Alright, so What's up? We got Brandon Westgate here today, and we got Ramsey again. Um, even though I'm gonna replace him because he's got some lip, I have to kick him off the show. Um, just want to give a shout out to Olo Clip. <laughs> Olo Clip again, one of the sponsors of the show. If you don't know what these are, you need to figure it out. It's basically three lenses for your iPhone. You got a fish eye, a wide angle, and a macro, and they're awesome, man. You've used it, Ramsey. Back it. It's awesome. Yeah, it's super good, man. The fisheye's rad for if you're doing, you know, skating or something and you just want to film a line. It's like one of the best fisheyes out there right now. So, turns your phone into a VX, I guess, or HD now. So, and the macro is really cool because you can get real close on detail. Like, I was showing Westgate my thumb, basically, with the macro on. And you can see all the crusties on it and how disgusting my thumb is. And then you got a wide angle so you can get the whole room in. You don't have to worry about that anymore. So go out, oloclip.com. They're sick. I back them. Ramsey backs them. Yeah, 100%. Back them. Um, shout out to Solstice Skate Shop. They're out in New Bedford, Mass. 15 years deep. Ramsey's got the hat. Backing it. One of the best shops. Backing it. Backing it. Westgate's backing it. So, yeah. Um, all I need apparel. Skateboarding clothes. Um, all I need skate.com. It's my brand. It's Ramsey's brand. You can have it. Uh, we got a good team. Corey Goonan, Billy Drown, a bunch of shredders. So check it out. What else? Who else is there? So we got Solstice, All I Need, Olo Clip, and the last one. Missing one. World Industries. World Industries. Don't know how I forgot that one. Slacking. <laughs> They're going to fire me now. Sick. No, me. I'm Team Chef. So. Yeah, Ramsey's actually Team Chef. As you, If you watched the Bachinski episode... He was, uh, we explained the details in that, but, uh, he basically comes to demos, barbecues it up, hands it up with people, and just fucking kills it. Eats and drinks. Pies people in the face, because he's the pie guy as well. Yeah. Have you seen any? Well, you, you I, pied I him. I pied him. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. I think Brand- I was the first to pie you. Mm-hmm. He was. <laughs> he was. <laughs> that was awesome. I'll never forget it. <laughs> it's like a first date. Sick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the end of that bullshit. Today we got Brandon. Uh... He's from, he's a bogger, so that's cool. It's going good. And we got a shitload of questions from people. What do you got on there? You got any? I got a bunch. I kind of got a funny one from uh, Chris Tremley. What was that one? It says, uh, do you know Tony Hawks and Can You 900? Yes to both of those. All right. <laughs> Get that out the way. He's coming on next week. He's going to be on the show, the show Wednesday. Psyched. Yeah, there's a lot of questions. A lot of kids like you, Brandon. That's good to know. I don't know why, man. Jeez. Everyone wants to know about your pop. There's like 50,000 questions about yeah, pop. Yeah, only ask one of those. 
What do you, what the hell's the secret? Um, usually I just go home and I train my legs. I just work my legs out for hours until they hurt. You just wear like bat, like grocery bags with cinder blocks in it, yeah. and just walk around the house. I squat around my house in my spandex. <laughs> you got like a good form. You can tell you do some sort of uh, workout. Yeah. So I work them. <laughs> oh, this guy. Why don't you live in NYC? I don't know. I I tell you the truth. I hate the city. Yeah. It's just it's a lot of people. Too many people. You wouldn't live there, but you just visit. I just don't really like living in like a little box all winter long. It's just to see you stuck in this box, and then like, you know, every, you know, it's like to get anywhere you gotta walk around. The city's freezing cold all winter. Dude, it's like fuck that. I would never live there. I agree. New York's a great place to visit, but I ain't living there. No, yeah. I love it. Ramsey lived there. I'm back in a thousand. Did you live in a percent. fucking coffin or what? A little box? It was tiny, but the city's huge. You don't need. Fuck your house. I don't Just know. get out there, man. We both have backyards, so. Yeah, and, we, the, and oh. last, last winter, it was like 50 degrees all winter, so. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice. Fuck the city, man. It smells bad, too. The city's awesome. Don't get me wrong. This New York City is amazing, and I love going there, but fuck living there. That's I'm horrible. I'm completely honest. The spots absolutely suck to skate. They're crusty it's, and fucking It's nice hard. when you get a trick, but other than that, they suck to skate. That's why it's so good when you get the trick, because it's so... Fucking hard. If you just just skating through the city, filming lines and shit is really awesome. Just pushing through the city shit. is amazing. But just this. pushing through the cars and everything. you beat you can beat cars on your skateboard. I know that's that's, that's fucking that's amazing. <coughs> All right, let's get let's get a Claudia Trishler. <coughs> What's your favorite TV show, movie, and band? Oh, that's a legit question. Yeah, it's a non. Uh, at least for me, though. I don't know. I would be hyped yeah. into that one. Um. Bands, shit, I don't know. Um, I more, I more have like TV shows. I watch a lot of TV. Oh yeah, I got, watch a, I got a bunch. I really love that show, Gold Rush. Nope. You haven't seen it? It's Discovery oh, Channel. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh, it's like a reality show. Yeah, it's on yeah. the third season. Uh, Axman. Sick. Yeah, I've watched that one. Uh, Bamazon. It's another like just collecting gold. Bamazon. Bamazon. They go through the uh, Amazon jungle. They yes. trying to get like. Some excavator down this like sketchy river on a barge, yeah, like, dig some gold out the ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I watch. Don't know shit. Moonshiners. Is that hey, another one? Hell yeah. yeah. That they shit's making crazy. moonshine. Yeah, okay. and they're yeah. running from the cops constantly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just out there in the woods. Wait, wait, wait. Where are they? That they have to run? It's illegal where they live. Yes, yeah. yeah. Alabama yeah. or something? No, it's uh, like Virginia or North Carolina or some, somewhere somewhere right there. there. So they just have to like they're Ride like making the moonshine and then yeah. the cops roll up and they yeah. gotta dip. Well, they're like way they're in like the Appalachian Mountains or some shit like that, right? Something crazy. Yeah, yeah some mountains. They're way out there. They're like woods people, you know, like <laughs> all paranoid. Like you hear the birds chirp and you yeah. know there's somebody out here and you run. <laughs> like <laughs> those guys are like no teeth. Yeah. Like is it a family or is it just like two it's dudes like or friends? Something. It's like they they follow like different groups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to check it out. It's pretty sick. Did you ever see Amish Mafia? Yeah, I've been watching that. So too. good. <laughs> so yeah. good. Damn, dude. I never watch any of these shows. Oh, dude. Yeah. I watch. I only watch like Animal Planet ones, like where it's like just sharks and reptiles and shit like that. I gotta get into the weirder ones. We've, ones we've been watching uh, The Wire too. It's a HBO. Oh, dude. Seen so that? Classic. Yeah. Man. What season do you want? Uh, we just started like last month, so we're on the second season. When the little kids come in, dude, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, what's the little wire? kids are ruthless. What's the wire? It's like in uh, Baltimore. Yeah, oh, it's, it's the like, police, right? Yeah, it's, it's like a really good law. Well, it shows the like the cop side and like the gangster side. Gangster side, side of yeah. each story. Omar, you know Omar? Yeah, he's that motherfucker. Dude, I seen him on the train. Did you? Yeah, I walked up and I was like, oh shit. And he's like, yo, what up, kid? And I'm like, damn, Omar. Yeah, <laughs> he's like he's like a gay black black guy yeah. that robs the drug dealers like he'll go up and rob their stash and their money so he's not very like feminine then he's, he's no he's totally he's gay. totally gay though yeah he's, he's all pissed about he fucks the crackhead guy guy yeah <laughs> dude, especially they killed his boyfriend the first yeah, season yeah. and he's been retaliating jesus dude dude the fucking show is awesome man. yeah the wire sounds pretty amazing now it's pretty sick sounds pretty entertaining pretty jesus. what's that other one there's another crazy one um the dude with uh he makes uh meth Oh yeah, Breaking Bad. Breaking so Bad. Good. I saw yeah. that. Like I saw like the first season or something. That's pretty fucking insane. It's awesome. Yeah, Netflix, dude. Catch up on that shit. Yeah. I know, dude. But like I said, it's just like I'd rather watch like 
I watch like the same animal shows all the time. Like I've probably seen the same one. Where Breaking Bad's good though. It is. It is. It gets me. It. Fuck. Walking Dead. You watch Walking Dead. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude, I, I don't tell. I haven't seen the last two episodes. Zombies. Of the season. I I haven't yeah. even uh, started the third season because I was catching up on the first two and when I went to Netflix. Yeah, they only they, have the two first two. Yeah. Well, they they canceled out. I, I like checked it and it was like on season like three or four, so I couldn't see the first two episodes. Like they. When they, they just skipped ahead and they took well, off the like, one. Well, they had those, and then when they add another one, they would like cancel one. Oh, and that's then, bullshit. So like, you couldn't catch up. Maybe if you go online, because if you're on Netflix and you go online, you can like find what was on there, I think, and then you can add to your instant queue and you can watch it. Because there's more shit online, because they can't add everything on. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you I go on to that. Netflix.com and you... Yeah, yeah, there's tons of shit on there that you can find for free, that, that if you just search it up. It's on there. You just have to add it to your instant queue, so when you go to your TV, it'll be on there. Damn. Damn. Plug it. Plug it. I just sung right there. Sung you right there. <laughs> All right, let's get back to some questions. <laughs> you need to catch up on your fucking episodes, dude. I suck, I suck at those ones, though. The only ones... What's the one we've been watching at my house? We've oh, been watching Always Sunny. Always Sunny, which is amazing. That just got put on Netflix like a couple weeks ago. That shit, I fucking... I'm so happy they put that one. Dude, that one's amazing. You can yeah. watch them like over and over again. There's so. another one. We've been watching. Workaholics. Workaholics is sick, too. Um, What's that British one? Uh, I don't know, but that one is sick. I wish we could tell them what it is, but... Fuck. We'll find it. MTV we'll find remade it. it, and it sucks. Oh, MTV. <laughs> All right, let's get back to questions. Oh, another one from the same chick. Good question. What's your favorite spot in Boston? Since you hate New York so much. <laughs> you, you like the Yankees? No, no. There you go. Good kid. Um, probably just like that egg spot. I think that's my favorite spot just because everyone's there. It's yeah. fucking perfect ledges. Eggs is fucking amazing yeah, ledges. Yeah, it's sick. It's like they're a, so good. And it's cool because the vibe's like really tight. That Every time you go there, it's like a skate park. It's like, yeah. And they're all, everybody there is super cool. Yeah. Pretty mellow, and it's right on the water. Yeah, you can't like seen it. Yeah, it's so cool. It's awesome. One day we were there skating, and we seen a, a fucking hawk. It had a dead like rabbit, and we were <laughs> skating, filming lines. And uh, Tim, our homie Tim from the Cape that films, he went right up to the hawk with the. It was eating on a rabbit, and he got within like a foot of it with the fish eye. I never seen the footage, but I wanted to see. It was like ripping skin out. It was like oh, National yeah, Geographic yeah. shit. It was sick. Dude. It's awesome. We had to stop filming because of it. You know, like across the street, there's a. Uh, it's like a jail. Yeah. You no, know, it's jail. From eggs. Yeah, we were skating there one time, and never there noticed. was people in the window, like with letters, and like a car pulled up, and it was like two like two like ladies, and they had like binoculars trying to re- like see what they were like <laughs> writing. Oh, they're like it's like the messages. Their women are like trying to get messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was people in there writing messages. Like you could see like paper up against the window, and then you seen the lady like in the car like showing them it. It's just like it's just like show us your boobs. Because <laughs> you wasted all that time to do that. <laughs> all right, we got Jonathan Henriquez. Sorry if I fucked your name up. How'd you get on America? It's a good question. Um, it's actually, this is a pretty funny story. I was running for Etnies and the team manager at the time, Justin Regan, yeah. he, uh, somebody, somebody from Etnies, uh, the team manager from Etnies, uh, stole a America rider. So then in retaliation, Justin Regan stole me from Etnies. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. So that's how it came about. It was just like some I, mafia shit. Yeah, right it was there. like it was some beef, and then like I just happened to be the one that like got stolen. You don't from. remember who they stole though? No, I don't know who it was. Was it? It'd be <coughs> funny if it was like you stole like fucking some ridiculous person, and then they came up uh, like someone real silly. Who can we think of that's real silly that I don't want to hurt their feelings? No one. Never mind. Definitely <laughs> <laughs> gonna hurt somebody's family. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's a good one, Anthony Ortiz. Why are you bald? Who said that? <laughs> oh, shit. Anthony Ortiz. Uh, I mean, I don't know. You I got just, a lot of hair. You I just trim, to cut it. Yeah, I like to trim that shit up every time. I wake up in the morning, I have, like, like my head has, like, comes to a square point, so then I wake up, like, looking like Wolverine once it gets to a certain uh, point. Yeah, I got that. Sometimes. Yeah, so I just cut it off and wake up every day and not have to do shit and not have to look at it. I seen uh, just recently I saw someone made a montage on cuz I was like searching photos for of you t- for this podcast thing and there was one where it was like three photos and it was like you the brother from Malcolm in the middle 
And like there was like a montage of like people that looked like you. It was pretty oh, amazing. That's weird. We could probably find it to be honest. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> you got any more? You got another question, Ryan? Yeah, this is a really loaded <coughs> question. Just trying to find. I got some on Insta too. Oh, uh, Ben Ben Kerrigan says Biggie or Tupac. That's a good question. Oh, Biggie or Tupac? I Biggie. I just like to listen to Biggie. That's two for two on this damn show. People back in Biggie. I mean, Biggie's fucking. Pretty, he's pretty tight. He just sounds better to me. Yeah, he's fucking Biggie. All right, I get. Let me. I got the next one. <laughs> if I can pull it up. We got a shitload of questions, so... Why are you an awesome motherfucker? I don't know. That's your answer, really? My answer is I was born this way. <laughs> Lady Gaga, yeah, dude. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Lady Gaga. Damn. <laughs> Fucking impressive. Thanks. He actually wrote, Why are you an awesome father fucker? I think he, mis- un- he misspelled mother. It's F-O... He put an F instead of an M on accident. That's cool, though. So why are Switching you a up. father fucker? <laughs> Fuck, I'm not. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna check. Gotta make sure homie gets his question answered. Do you think... Actually, here's a question from me. It's an important one. Do you think we could get you to try out the poll today, or what? No. no? Dude, I can't get up that thing. Come on. Ramsey, you get up on that thing. If you try, I'll try. I mean, I can. I've tried, so... To be honest, get up there. I don't want to get up there and it falls out of the ceiling. It won't. It's just you get up there dude. and then if it if it doesn't, I'll, <laughs> dude, I'll it, believe it. His girl fucking spins on that thing. You think he's caught That doesn't mean it's not going to fall out of the ceiling. She spins on it. I got a stripper pole in my house. I don't know if I told you, but yeah, now you know. Because my girl does pole. Well, she does like... It's like an uh, Don't workout. let him lie. He does pull. <laughs> that's, that's how he stays. Damn it. That's how he stays lit. I didn't want to be exposed yeah. on the show. It's but. actually a good vertigo treatment. <laughs> <laughs> do some pull. You want to do some pull for bed. You fucking pause yeah. before. <laughs> oh, here's a good question. Oh, shit. Leo Menendez. Why doesn't Aaron Susky have a shoe on America? <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. Yeah, slap. Wish you did. Yeah, slap message boards. Wish you did. He's got a colorway, right? Yeah. yeah. Just give him the whole fucking shoe. Why just the colors? And the argument is, the argument I heard was because he's not marketable. But that's, to me, bullshit because you're telling me uh, America can't make a shoe that would sell. That's like saying, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, if his colors are marketable, why wouldn't the shoe be? I don't know who's to blame. I don't know who's to blame. Oh, well. Fuck it. Maybe it's in the works. 2013. I'd rock a Susky shoe, dude. Well, there's another one from Leo. He's a legend. First of all, the dude has a trick named after himself. Susky the Susky guy. And you know yeah. you made history in skateboarding. Like, how many people have names, the tricks important. named after him? Yeah, that guy kills it. Yeah. Pretty important. Have you heard from him? Not for a while, no. No, me neither. I Once in a while on Instagram, he'll hit me up and say, like, what up, dude? And I'll try to check in with him. Hope he's doing good. Susky, I hope you're doing good, man. Susky, I remember back in the day, skate shop days... When Five Bar had the demo, and Susky came and just fucking murdered yeah, everything. Dude. That was amazing, dude. That was out of 14. Susquatch. Susky, dude, yeah. fucking. That was awesome. He's Ron, got the. Ron Suki. Ron Suki. <laughs> he's got the VB. Remember the VB? Always, dude. He's always so, so like, insecure about it, too. He's got a vagina back. <laughs> <laughs> Shaves it and everything. Yeah, sometimes you gotta handle that. <laughs> Another one from Leo. What was it like going on Volcom trips as a kid with Little Angel Ramirez and Little Sheckler? Actually, it was, like, really, really fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like, one of my first, like, I don't know, like, big trips besides, like, you know, like, five row trips. Yeah. But, like, with a different crew. And then uh, we basically the first – basically the only trip we went was to uh, Miami and – like, we were all, like, 16. Like, Grant Taylor was there. Everybody was, like, maybe 15, 16. And we go to this firework place. Sheckler just buys, like, buys the place out. <laughs> like, we had, and it was, like, buy one, get one free on, like, everything. So we had, like, a van full of fireworks. They're, like, letting them out the window on the highway. <laughs> we get to, like, the trade show. And um, the team manager at the time, Kevin's just like, all right, no more fireworks. We get there. 
I think Grant like throws a smoke bomb out, and it's like everybody's checking in for like a trade show hotel, you know? <laughs> yeah. And we pull up, throw a smoke bomb, and then Kevin sees it and just peels out, and then we have to like kill time for an hour to go back to the hotel. <laughs> They're like blowing up toilets, like <laughs> fuck this room up, and then finally like, Kevin's like, all right, we're gonna go to this parking lot to uh, blow off all these fireworks, so you guys just chill out, so we can get rid of these things. Go to like an empty like Target. It's like one in the morning. No one's there. It's a huge parking lot. Just like go at it, dude. Yeah, like fucking... Roman candles flying at each other. We're running around like nut bags, like you know, <laughs> shooting all the shit. And then all of a sudden, like this like undercover cars come flying in. We all jump in the van. Pulls out a gun. He has like a laser pointed at <laughs> Kevin's head at the head. Like, like the cop. Yeah, the cop. Like, Get out of the car, everybody! It's like should I go? Should I go? And I'm just like in the back, like oh shit, we're about to like we're gonna die. And uh. <laughs> Got out of the car, and the guy's pissed. You know, he's yelling at Kevin because he's, like, I don't know, 30 at the time. You know, Matt Stone, Andrew Matt yeah, Stone. Yeah, like, yeah. you're going to get deported, all this shit. And, like, he ended get up letting fucking us go. fireworks? Yeah, but we were going nuts because he was saying also, like, if one of the fireworks came shooting at him, he would have he would have had to, like, pull the trigger because it was a uh, – yeah, that's a firearm or some shit. He was explaining. He was the guy was rip shit, but he ended that up guy was a, that guy was a kook. If he yeah. couldn't like roll up to the situation and assess it and be like, okay, it's a bunch of kids lighting off fireworks, having fun. I need to be stern and yell at them. Instead, he was talking about p- potentially shooting Ryan Sheckler. Yeah, no, no. Well, Kevin, he had it, the laser pointed. Like, his laser-pointed pistol was at the guy's head. Like, you could see the red dot at his Who head. Who the fuck gave this guy a badge? <laughs> like, he's a oh, cop He just got him the only adult in the van, and he's like, fuck, shoot him. Fuck, <laughs> shoot, get him, fuck. <laughs> and then also, you know, the G-Rails? Those G-Rails? Jesus, dude, PG. This is the Shetler Show's oh, PG, Well, man. whatever, that's the name of them. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, we're at the G-Rails, and... Racist. Mazel tov. Actually, it gets worse. This black guy comes out, <laughs> just big motherfucker comes out, and he's just like about to kick us out. You know, he's got us lined against the wall, like fucking drilling us. And then like Grant's kind of being a wise ass, he chokes Grant up against the wall, and I'm just kind of like holy shit, like smirking. And then he just starts flipping out at me. Like, what are you laughing at, boy? Like <laughs> flipping out. I'm just like we're all, all lined against the wall, just little kids. And then like Kevin and Andrew are just still like, and they're getting the rap for it. Fucking birds in the trees shitting on this guy while he's like, <laughs> and so it's like trying to like trying to hold it all in because he's like, this is why you're laughing because he's getting shit. No, I was laughing just kind of like couldn't believe it. He was choking. He had him choked against the wall. Like I was like, can a security guard do this? He wasn't even a cop. Dude, how many how many fucking adults are out there assaulting little skateboarder kids? Like, what the fuck's going on in America? Jesus. Yeah, you gotta check out the YouTube clips of security guards kicking out skaters. I've seen some. They're pretty yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah, they dude. get raw. They're amazing. <laughs> They're so good. Crazy. The bird, was the bird shitting on him, like, while he was yelling at Yeah, he was just yelling at us. <laughs> just, like, so many birds in the trees and just, like, a nasty shit on his finger and he just, like, wipes it on his pants. He's trying like, to play cool. <laughs> yeah. It's good luck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, instant karma. Like, he's like, fuck you little kids. Like, shit right on him. Fucking it perfect. was probably Pigeon Christ. Yeah, rest in peace. Show, show the yeah. shirt. Pigeon Christ. All I need, Pigeon Christ, baby. Taking care of skateboarders since day one. Mm-hmm. R.I.P., baby. All right, let's get another question. Jesus, dude, that first trip sounded amazing. It was, it was yeah. crazy. How old are you? I was, like, probably 16 or something. Jesus, dude. Around there, 15, 16. What was the tour called? How to go around and get assaulted by adults? <laughs> I don't know. Because that's pretty much all that happened. You had a gun pulled on you. Like, for skating and fireworks, like, that's Bart Simpson shit. Why the yeah. fuck are people choking people and pulling out guns? What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, dude, how many adults are really out there? There can't be that many if people are doing this shit. Still to this day, I've never had, like... Fuck that shit. <sighs> that many fireworks at my hands. Disposal, you know? yeah. like, just more It was crazy. I, like, couldn't believe it, like, when we went to the firework place that we were, like, leaving with this many fucking fireworks. That's awesome. Oh, another thing, Good like, look, Shex. Yeah. Fucking, uh, Kevin's driving the van out. Shex, like... Throws a whole watermelon out the window. Like, we're on the third story window. I still don't know how, like, landed right on the uh, windshield. I don't know how the windshield didn't break or, wow. or crack or anything. Wow. And just like, <laughs> like, gets it because he wasn't expecting it. You know, he's driving oh, the man. van out, just like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, he's yelling. And Shekka just starts throwing shit out the window, like, at the <laughs> foot, everything, like, silverware, because we had this whole, like, uh, I don't know, kitchen area. 
This is his team manager at the time? Yeah, and then everybody starts throwing so shit out, like, you know? okay, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. I never been on a trip like that. It was so fun. That sounds pretty fucking awesome. It's like Motley Crue shit. <laughs> yeah, probably the perks perks of fucking rolling with Shaq. Though. Yeah, Shaq's dude. He does what he wants. It's tight. All right. I got a question. Get out of there, Ramsey. All right, fine. It's the Shetler Show, not the Ramsey Show, okay? Jesus. <laughs> Keep forgetting your sponsors. It might be the Ramsey Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, here we go. We got Instagram, which Brandon's not on Instagram because he's living his life. It's a true statement. Fact. Um, was it your dream to go pro? This is from Johnny Shards. Come on, really? Come on. Dunkin' Donuts. You're never getting your show with that etiquette. Jesus. Sorry, dude. Fuck Dunkin' Donuts. I had to mix the sugar up. Pissed off, still. You fucking yeah. shit-ass employees. I'm gonna quit being a pro skateboarder and just go show them how to do it at Dunkin' Donuts. Shit, Fuck that'll it. probably really show them. <laughs> Definitely. Then you're All gonna right. walk in there like six months later and Charlotte's gonna be the pissed off guy. <laughs> you coffee. What did you want? <laughs> yeah, how can you motherfuckers can't get this right? You want a Boston cream? Fuck yourself. Jesus. Sticking his fingers in all like Boston creams. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Oh, man. Jesus. All right. Johnny Shards on Instagram wants <coughs> to know, was it your dream to go pro? Yeah. I mean, of course. I think that's every like little kid's like dream in the back of their head. I, I would agree with that, Ramsey. Yeah. yeah. Like you start skating, you're just like, oh, man, I want to go trips and fucking skating your shit and I like when I first started skating. I didn't even know there was an industry or you could go pro. Like I had no, I didn't even know you could do tricks. So when I got my first board, it was a weird Walmart board that my aunt bought me. It had like a crazy shape, and I was just like butt boarding, which I'm sure a lot of people start out that way. Yeah. And then I met my homie Dale, and he could already do kickflips at this time. So when I saw him do a kickflip, I was like, "What the fuck was that?" Like it blew my mind because I knew you could probably jump on it, but I didn't know you could like actually get the skill to like set that up and do a kickflip. And then once I realized you could kickflip, and then he showed me, like, a four-on-one, and, like, then I was like, oh, you can be pro at this? Like, that'd be sick, you know what yeah. I mean? Was it the, or did you, when you first started, did you just know that you could go pro? No, I, actually, I didn't even know until, like, I met you. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know, like, people got sponsored, or that was even, like, a possibility. Yeah. Because, I mean, I don't know, I just... It's like when you're a little kid, you don't think of that shit, because you're just like, oh, I got a skateboard, this will be fun, you know? Yeah. That's cool. So you come from a small town, you don't think anyone's making it out. Especially where, yeah, where yeah. him is like with him, pretty. But we had a sick skate crew in where. Yeah, we did the skate shop. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. that Fuck place it. was sick. Nice. Shout out to the skate shop for sure. Dude, that place yeah. is so tight. The skate shop started in a house, and it was a mom and like dad. Yeah, uh, Roger, Roger and, and Wendy. Wendy. Yeah. Shout out Good yeah. skate shop. <laughs> and they just like did it out of this house, and it was sick. And then they moved it to a legit spot, and they got a little skate park in there, and they had like Fibro come do a demo. Who else? Did they have anyone else? No, nah, they said like shows and that stuff. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. bands would play, get skate and stuff. Yeah. Get all steamed up. And it was sliding. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It was shit. dangerous. It got was, dangerous. Dude, fucking eat. That shit was so fun. I used to go there every day. I went there every single day. And then I go in there one day to like pay Roger the five bucks. He's like, ah, you don't have to pay. Yeah. Okay. And then that it was, was like after that, I got him for free every day. That I think was like that's the, the slowly reason, downfall. <laughs> yeah. The slow downfall. Was just, he, that's he became cool that everyone was like, ah, fuck it. That's how tight they are, though. Yeah. Yeah. They were so tight that they went out of business and sucked. They were too nice to everyone. And they just let, eventually it just turned into like, yeah, just fucking skate. No. One and it was like, although that's not fair. I, I heard that Wendy like didn't like babysitting. Like the toilet would always get plugged with like a yeah. shoe or something. Or like people would shit yeah. on the walls yeah. or something. Yeah. With, like, like 13, 14 year old fucking skate rat kids. <laughs> Remember, uh, Bug juice or fucking yeah, yeah, actually dude. came to hell face. Little bug juice, hell face. Yeah. <laughs> we gave the worst nicknames or the best ones. How everyone look at it. <laughs> he was like a fucking seven year old kid. We called him hell face. Yeah, it's pretty, it was pretty harsh. <laughs> but uh, Roger's fucking pissed one day. Just like some fucking asshole. I had to get the plumber in here. Fucking plumbing toilet. He plums up a uh, old shitty pair of boxers or underpants or something like that and. Hellface had this problem where he would like shit his pants or hold his shit, and it was I just like understand, that dude. was him, definitely. Yep, just definitely him. I used to shit myself. Oh, when I, was I, did, I totally forgot about that kid until <laughs> fucking right now. Dude, he would always come up to you. He was a cool kid, but he he would always come come up to you like this, like shoulders up, and he'd be like, <sighs> yeah. If you and he would drink anybody's drink that was like you know the stage yeah, he's over like there. a little scavenger yeah. yeah just be like what are you doing that's my fucking drink <laughs> fucking hell face yeah you can drink it no problem yeah there was such face. a crazy crew of people there like just who like, shit on the power out back was that you 
Nice. Nice old car. Thanks for that one, yeah. Yeah, hey, it was. Wasn't your thing, too, to shit in the top of the toilet? It's that like the upper, upper decker. decker. Upper yeah. decker. Sometimes you got an upper decker. That one guy... She did the, that at the skate shop? No, I would oh, never. Oh, no, but that one... I remember going to the one shop, and he wouldn't let, like... Zared. Zared, or he wouldn't let anybody in there without, like... Because he was like, yeah, somebody shit in my toilet, and I know I traced his footprints back and everything. <laughs> it was called, the shop was, I only remember this because of the what happened. It was called Going to Extremes. That was the name of the shop. And they had, like, more skis than skateboards. You know what I mean? And uh, Zared was part of the Upper Decker crew. What up? What up, Dr. Z? And uh, he felt the need because the place sucked. It wasn't even skateboarding at all. And they just, like, our demo was in the snow in the parking lot. With <laughs> fiber. They, Vinny Rafa dragged out a parking curb. From out back and was like, do a demo in the snow. And uh, Zared felt the need to upper deck it, but he got caught because he was rocking Osiris's and he put his footprint on the oh. that's an amateur move. You and know? the guy thought he was the shit because he found out who shit in his toilet. Yeah, he was so proud of himself. Yeah. He dragged CSI. Zared he just in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, Fuck yeah. He dragged Zared in and made, made him clean it out. He was like, you little shit, you're gonna clean that up. <laughs> Ever since then, he's been so like. Protective about his toilet. I remember trying to go to the bathroom. He's like, "You better not pull any of those stunts in there." It's like, <laughs> it's like I found the last guy that did that. I'm like, "Dude, I don't even know about Good that." Good for you, man. <laughs> Why you went back? Well, yeah, I did it definitely, yeah. and that's how I heard about that. Because I was like, I used to use the bathroom, and the guy's like, "You know, the last guys, I tr- I found who shit my toilet." And I'm just like, "Look, man, I just uh, I gotta take a leak." You know, that guy probably has such a bad idea of like what pro skateboarders do. Actually, we weren't even pro; we were like flow then. So he probably hates skateboarders for life. Um, I got one. Uh, go ahead, Michael Tatega. What up, Tatega? Uh, hey, I'm loving your mid tops from America. They're ripping. What's your favorite color and food? <coughs> I don't know if he means favorite color in your shoe or just favorite color. Yeah, he was curious as to what your favorite color colorway. Yeah, I pretty much just like a like a black, like the white sole or like the yeah like. I guess like the sole of the sides. Yeah, yeah, the sole of the sides. Yeah, the sides white. white and black. And what do you eat in Wareham from the land of the <laughs> boggers? Cranberries? Plenty. Plenty of cranberries? Yeah. We have a theory that your forearms, you have Popeye forearms, and it's from picking the cranberries. Yeah? yeah? Definitely. Okay. We should arm wrestle, actually. <laughs> we're saving it for the pole dancer. Oh, shit. Pole My dance. bad. You're not, unless you get on the pole. No, no, no. Uh, if you're a pole dancer, I'll arm wrestle. Yeah, that's fair. Ramsey arm wrestles pole dancers. <laughs> that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> what do you um, eat? What the hell do you eat? Yeah, what's your favorite food? I'm a vegetarian, so I just... Shut the fuck up. up. Yeah. You pussy-ass motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been one for like almost two years. Oh my god, that's horrible. What a... He's a vegetarian. Jesus we actually Christ. just got this fucking... We got the best juicer that you could possibly oh get because we do god. these juicing cleanses and all that shit. You sound, sound, you you sound lame. Oh, you, sound so you lame. feel good, though. I might sound lame, but I'm the guy that's, like, out there like Popeye fucking <laughs> spinach. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just juicing mad spinach. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I swear. I think you just ruined me. I just think you ruined our friendship. So but what's your favorite vegetable? So is this podcast <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what right? the hell do you Favorite color is green. <laughs> what's your favorite vegetable? What do you eat, carrots? Um, yeah, plenty of carrots. What is it? Actually, I, ju- I juice them all, too. Carrot yeah. juice. You saw the shit. <laughs> carrot no, but juice. Like, um, Wait, so when did you lose your testicles? Go. I guess two years ago at this point. <laughs> yeah. No, how is um, it? Is it good being a vegetarian? I love it. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, whatever, man. What made you go veg- vegetarian? Uh, mainly my girl's vegetarian. Mm. Oh. Yeah. See how that works? See how that works out there? See? Makes sense. But. Yeah. So, like. I actually. I, is it weird having a vagina now? Or? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But to, like, man myself up. Uh, the other day, my girl's uh, <laughs> I sister's. Eat a lot of vegetables. He's like, I do steroids. I'm <laughs> no, a vegetarian. No, no, I, I have, like, a manly story here for you guys. Oh, sorry, man. Fucking. My girl's sister's. Uh, down with her husband and kid and whatnot and he fucking shoots deers and stuff he's showing me all the fucking how he killed all these deers and stuff and he's like oh i got some deer bologna in the, in, in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna try it oh, so no, no. i, tried I never fucking... thought i'd fucking hear the word deer bologna yeah. ever do the no, word say, yeah, i guess he like killed the deer and then he like i don't know fucking cut it all up one of them up himself and then he sent the other one to like a butcher and they made some deer bologna and i tried a piece of deer bologna when, wait when was this the other day yeah, it was like three days ago. So, so you're not like a strict vegetarian. No, I am, but I felt obligated to try his deer because he was hyping it. I was like, all right, if I don't try this deer, you know, it's pretty lame. Was it good? 
Yeah, it's alright. It just tastes like kibasa, kibasa. Yeah, I, I mean, if someone says you want some deer bologna, you gotta fucking indulge. Yeah, Even I mean, if you're I, it's not like I'm gonna try fucking deer bologna ever. Bologna, you know? bologna, bologna, <laughs> deer bologna. I just like saying that. <laughs> it's pretty good though. Damn, dude. Wow. So do you do you want to go like shoot a bunch of deers and shit now because they're eating all your grass? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> no, he's dead serious. <laughs> That's right. I don't, like, I don't really. You fucker! I'm eating you. That's this is for eating my meal. But I don't eat grass. Who I the mean, fuck eats grass? Vegetarians well. do, right? I don't know what you guys eat. You yeah, know, like, <laughs> you just go out back and just. Pick what the up. hell was in that skillet that you just showed me? That was all vegetables. Do you know what I? Put? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, and I've made. I put. Baby chickens in it. Remember, a bunch of baby chickens. <laughs> all right, pieces. so all right, so this is like the argument that I have is like everyone's like, oh, I fucking eat meat. I'm so tough, but yeah, can yeah. you actually? Do you actually kill the chicken that you eat? I would. You wouldn't if the chicken was right. That's like that's like taking Shetler's dog and just whoa, 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 whoa. exactly. Yeah, what if whoa. that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. It's like fucking Listen. slitting your dog's throat. And whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Get whoa. all ass. Hey, Elwood's a saint. Elwood is a saint. Dude, Elwood my uncle had a farm. I used to play with the pigs that I ate. Well, he's They're an exception. disgusting. Yeah. Would well, you? Do you think you could, disgusting. like, just kill an innocent chicken that um, was in your backyard? Like, not if you had to, but if it was, like, all right, like, because when it comes down to, like, walking dead style, you're going to kill whoever, you know? Yeah. But, like... No, no it, I mean you watch I know, the show. I know. I can't I let them into the group. Dude. They might be bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're talking about animals, not zombies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's like I don't know. I'd kill a zombie. I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you had some chickens in the backyard and like you had to kill it. Well, my team, my team manager Charlie Thomas at World is a is a vegan, and I tried to be a vegan for about that's really hard a week and a half. Yeah, and I realized it just wasn't good for me, and I didn't feel healthy. And I watched the stupid videos where it's, like, all the animals getting killed, and it's all gnarly, and, like, and I I felt really bad, but, it, I mean, I still eat eggs and shit. I did yeah. stop drinking whole milk. I drink, or not whole milk. I just stopped drinking milk. I drink, like, soy milk now. So. Yeah, because the amount of hormones that they put in all that shit is pretty gnarly. Yeah, me and my girl started buying the eggs where it's, like, um... Free range. Yeah, cage-free and, like, all no bullshit in the eggs, so... There's small changes I made, but I still eat meat. Like, yeah, I I feel like I could kill a chicken. Yeah, I don't know about a pig or bacon, a cow. A fucking cow. Bacon's so good. I might I'll shoot kill a cow a in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Huh? That's it. I'll Just, grab a chicken by his neck. Fucking. But it's like also thing. like once you kill it, you have to like gut the thing. It's you fucking. Gotta do, it's you gotta do it kind of quick too, because you can't let that shit. Sit. Yeah, because it spoils the meat if they get scared yeah. and stuff. So, are you a vegetarian? Because I know you. Not because of all that shit. I'm just a vegetarian because mainly I'm a vegetarian because I watch this. Uh, watch this other one. It's Food Inc. No, nah, I've seen that. That's uh, a good one. You watch? I one actually. Day. Um, it's. It's like a beautiful world or something like that with um, uh, Max Gearson. It's on Netflix actually. I'll have to check Plug it. Netflix again. Damn you! <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's this Olo guy. Clip. Like, Olo clip. Olo <laughs> clip. He basically just like found all, back in the day. He found all these uh, remedies to cure like tuberculosis and shit from like juicing and like people with cancer. He like this. There's this foundation out there that you can like you can only go to Mexico to do this because they don't allow it in the United States because they can't. They need to sell their fucking medicine. Because the United all your, States fucking blows. Yeah, dude. you need to buy all your fucking radiation treatments and all this fucking garbage so they don't let this. Like, that guy got, like, so pushed away and all this stuff. So you watch it and it's like, he actually, like, proves, like, you know, like, the fillings in your mouth and stuff. It's all, like, mercury. Yeah, like, like, if you go to the dentist and you get a teeth cleaning and you afterwards you get a really bad headache, it's because they scratched all your fucking amalgams and stuff in it. It's mercury just, like, going... It's, like, an mercury overload. Mercury poisoning. Yeah, right. it's, like, an overload, and then that's why, like, a lot of people feel sick afterwards, and it just goes into, like, all this shit, and it's just, like, all right, yeah, like... And if, America, you, if you juice, you can feel the difference. It's not like being a vegan where you can't fucking eat anything. Yeah. It's, like, just... Because you can, you can juice, and you can... You get, like, one juice, like, this big, but it's, like, fucking... It's ten, packed. yeah. It's, it's ten packed. vegetables. You cannot possibly eat that many vegetables, but you can. Like you're taking all the nutrients. It's I like, uh, I buy the those uh, shakes, not the shakes, but the bottles. What is it? Naked. Yeah, they're like packed full of all that shit. I yeah. get, I, I mean, that's probably like juicing, but juicing's probably cheap. <coughs> like you do it at your house, and, you and it's just like you like you just get organic vegetables, and it's pure. Like you know exactly what's. It's just pure vegetables. It's yeah. not like who knows if they add anything to the naked. If you read the back of the naked thing, it's like. 
weird like shit you can't pronounce. Yeah, like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Like, I don't care. <laughs> and Ramsey's swinging chickens around, breaking their yeah, necks. She's over there. It's getting weird. Loving America. Shooting him in the head, creeping up behind him, shooting him in but the head. But let's clear this up. <laughs> you've only face. been you've only been a vegetarian for two years. Yeah. So your pop didn't come from that. Fuck no. All right. Well, a bunch of kids are gonna go out there. I'm like, oh, I need vegetables. Brandon no, probably not. All over me. Dead people animals. are people are just uh, like always, especially like around here, have that fucking mentality where it's like. I need to fucking kill this chicken. You know what? You're a fucking <laughs> pussy if you don't eat this fucking chicken. So it's like, whatever. It's just small-minded. Maybe that's yeah, just that's what asshole, I have. mass asshole thing. Yeah, and I don't give a shit. Whoever wants to eat <laughs> a fucking... He just called you small-minded. I think he did. The I did. No, I totally I did. I, a little I, bit. He said people that want to kill chickens. Dude. Not people that want to kill chickens, but it's like... small-minded. It's like people yeah. that have that, that... It's like, not like I'm going around preaching this shit. It's like you asked a question, and this is what I have to say about it. It's not like I'm telling you, dude... You're a pussy for fucking eating <laughs> eating a cow. Ramsey is a pussy. That's not nothing <laughs> oh, to do with that. That's completely right. different. Yeah, like I don't give a shit. Eat a cow. Like, Actually, you know, we'll see. You shoot it. We'll see if Ramsey is a pussy when he, when uh, we have the pole dancer on and he has to arm wrestle her. We're yeah. gonna see because that's the deal. We just, we made a deal last night that he would arm break wrestle her fucking arm off and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying, dude. He ain't gonna be able to... She's gonna smoke you. You seen her arms are bigger than both she's of ours. Fucking jack, dude. dude. She she's like boom, like cut, like. I, when my girl was telling us about it, and we were like, she can't be that big. Then she showed us the videos. Dude, she's fucking jacked. She's fucking, like, I don't even, like... Like, physically fit. Like, her arms are, like, I I feel like a bitch. Like, like when there is a zombie apocalypse, she's gonna be surviving. She's gonna have, like, a fucking... <laughs> me, I'm dead. Boom, boom, I'm killing dead. zombies and shit. Basically stab me in the face, because I'm gonna be a zombie. I'm not outrunning them, dude. Well, you're done, you're done, because you're a bigger dude, and they like flesh, and you're packing, so me. they'll... Yeah, if it came to that, then I'd be, I'd be like that dude, I think, I like, that's, this is my favorite guy in Walking Dead, it's the guy that fucking shoots the squirrels all the time, he's on his fucking oh, dude, Harley. You got the fucking, uh, crossbow? Yeah, cause you know, you know, he's like, he's the best one. Yeah, he is. Would you, would you, uh. The other dude cuts his fucking arm off and shit. His that, brother? Yeah, that guy's gnarly. Would you, uh, would you eat zombie flesh? No, fuck no, cause then you're like. I think that could be bad. Would you turn into a zombie? Is that how that works? Well, I don't how know. How do you become a zombie? Because they kill you and eat you. Uh, yeah, right? they, they bite you. And, well, everybody is actually, everybody everyone's has. infected. Yeah. Oh, so, but it doesn't show up it was on like, It was like, a, no, everyone's infected. So when you die, if you die in natural Oh, causes, you're going to become a zombie? You, just be- you wake up and become a zombie. What the fuck? It's a virus in your head, and you got to, like, blow their brains out to kill Yeah, them. it's the only way to kill them. And it's like, if they come and bite you, then you're a zombie, too, yeah. and shit like that. But don't they normally just devour you? Like, I watched two episodes or something because Charlie was like, you got to see this. And they were sick episodes, but I uh, didn't get hooked for some reason. But they, like, the zombies just, like, there was, like, 15 on one. Yeah, like, they so, just, like, sometimes they, like, chew a leg off and stuff. And, and then the zombies, yeah, keep uh, Okay, that's why crazy. you see, like, half zombies dragging their bodies. It's rad, though. I love that show. That show's fucking awesome. Crazy. Let's get this Whipple Crew WK as a question. He asked, like, five questions, yeah, didn't he? I, I like this one. All right. Did you know kids from Lowell call you Babyface Ripper? <laughs> no, it's pretty tight though. <laughs> Sick. That was awesome. You do have a bit of a baby face. Thanks. Did you just shave for the show? Nah, my mole hair is right there. What's it's the now fuck? it's coming in good because the rest of it's kind of coming in. <laughs> when I, whenever I tell people, I was like, yeah, for like a good solid three years, I was Westgate's uh, mole trimmer, official mole burner. Oh yeah, that because we would burn the hair when it got too long. Yeah, and it would just we'd burn it and stink up the. Bed. Yeah, because it was like fuck, I, I can't bring like I'm, why am I going to bring a razor on this trip to shave my? I don't know when this thing's going to get out of hand. And, yeah. You know, I enjoyed burning your mole hair. It was yeah. like I felt like a privilege. I was like, this time. That's how you know you got a homie when you when he's like asks you to do something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, can you handle this? He's like, yeah. I got your back, B. <laughs> All right, I got a question for you. How many years have you been skateboarding? That's Craig Fletcher. Fletcher, Fletcher. Sorry, homie, I don't know how to spell your last name. Say your last name. How many years? Yeah. Um, probably thirteen. How old are you now? Twenty-three. Going on twenty-four. Damn. When's February, your birthday? February. February fifteenth. You guys better send Brandon, like, some gifts and stuff for that, man. Yeah. Send it straight to America. He'll get it all. Hell yeah. Damn. Happy birthday ahead of time. So yeah, thank you. So you never said forgot. It's awesome. All right, yeah. Um, did you ever skate or chill in Weymouth? Narbar 7777? Or is that Weymouth? I don't know what that I know of. I don't even really know where that is. I don't either. It's got to be Massachusetts, You know where that is, Brandon? Weymouth? Is that Weymouth? Is that what that is? Weymouth? That's Weymouth. Where is that? Weymouth is... I can't... I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's on the Cape or if it's more. It's got to be Massachusetts because it's like Falmouth. Oh, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely. Bunch, it's Massachusetts. Weymouth. I fucking know where it is. I see the fucking exit sign all the time. Weymouth. I don't know. Apparently, no one knows where Weymouth is. No, no idea. So apparently, he hasn't been chilling there. <laughs> no, definitely not. I'm sure we've all been there. That's the funny part. We've all driven by the sign yeah. that did not sink into anyone's head. So, uh, you got two dogs, right? Yeah. That's awesome. No, nope. That's all so I had to say about y- that. Yellow Labs. Yeah, they're all, that's awesome. The Yellow Labs, greatest They're dog fucking ever. big. You got Dewey and who else? Dune. We just adopted him. He's... Dune and Dewey? Yeah. Why, did, why'd you name the one Dune? No, we didn't. We adopted him with the name. Oh, he did. All right. Yeah. He's like five years old. We got him. He's like a hundred pounds. Damn, so he's like, fucking huge. He lost all his weight. And now he has all this saggy skin. Oh shit! So he's he just like light. he needs like eyes and surgery shit. or something to clean it up. No, or? it's like it's been shrinking up a little bit. Like at first, he just like I don't know. I think he was like abused and like left in this cage and just like fed. So he couldn't like he didn't exercise or anything, and he just ate. Yeah. And I don't know. Now we got him. He runs around and shit, and he lost all his weight and. Sorry? He's just a big fucking bear. That's awesome, dude. Dogs are the best. I'm a dog person. Yeah, I walk around with both of them half my life. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Amber sheds like a motherfucker. Um, the real Wilford... Oyoyala. I think that's the correct pronunciation. How was it filming for your new part in True East? Question mark. Uh, it's pretty fun. Just pretty much kept it, like, East Coast, so that was cool. Did you, like, go out and specifically go, I'm filming for my part, or were you just filming and, like, were you like, I'm filming for True East, or, it seemed, um, as, to me, it seemed like that was just, like, it didn't seem like that was, like, you were, like, your America part, you can tell you're, like, I'm filming for my America part. Well, the thing is, with, like, that video was, like, that video they were trying to get done really fast, like, not really fast, but in a short amount of time. Yeah. And then I'm also working on this America video, so it's, like... Basically, when I would go and skate with RB, I would like, all right, I'm working on the uh, the zoo zoo video True with RB, and then when I would go with the America guys, it's like I'm working with Stagel, or yeah. not for Stagel, but this other. I don't know what the video is going to be. The called, new video, the yeah, new the video. new America video. So, how many video parts have you had for America? Um, two. Two. I yeah. think this would be my third one, but it's yeah. It's, so it's like <laughs> I'm just juggling like two projects and like. This one, they wanted done faster while I'm doing this other project. So, like, or the zoo one, they wanted done faster. So, you know, it's, like, hard to, like, keep focus. You know, I'm, like, doing juggling two projects, so it's hard to, like, put all my energy into one thing. Yeah, yeah, one it thing. makes sense. So. Now it seems like your, your part was good, don't get me wrong, but it seems You didn't like, like my part. Is that where this is going? It was complete shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was good, but but uh, it could, you definitely could tell that it wasn't, like, you took it wasn't your stay gold part. It wasn't like you took two three years and just like you no. could tell it was like okay yeah was, everyone really, likes your skating. Obviously you could put out like five tricks and people were like damn that was sick. So but it just you could tell it wasn't like a full part. You know it was like yeah well the whole video wasn't a full part. I yeah don't it, think was it was like, like, a like smaller project. Yeah because it was like also Chaz had that like his uh, his video. So it was like all his good shit went to that video and then this was like we've only been working on that like True East video for like. I don't know, eight or nine months. Yeah, really. so and that's why. Like, yeah, and yeah, and it's like uh, also I've been going on so many America trips, so it's like trying just trying to I don't know. I felt like just it was trying to film full parts in like nine nine months. It's like really hard. It's fucking almost impossible. And it's like yeah. if I had used all my America clips, then like yeah, I probably would have had a scratch, a yeah. fucking longer part or something better. But well, I mean, I, I kind of think that video was like was it just to introduce like all the you know, the other dudes on the team, yeah, too, like I think Travis so. and. Uh, who else is on there? Dave Willis and yeah, Zoom. and it's like there's you know all the shit going on with Zoo, so it's like all right, like here's the here's the video, like the guys that are on the team, you know. Yeah, and, uh, I guess people just have a lot of questions or whatever about it. So it was cool. I I, I liked the video. Yeah. I was just curious because I was like I didn't know if they were like we're gonna film a bit because like even State of Mind, like when we did State of Mind, it was like we're filming for State of Mind. That was more just like a promo, I think. The 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 new one, true. Yeah, definitely. Just a promo. Yeah. It's for sure. Cool. We cleared that up for you guys, and later me and Brandon will fight about it. Well, what's your favorite video part? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was like, I'm like, oh, God, here we go. That My favorite video part? Yeah, yeah. Of who? Of you. Which one? Of you myself? Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you. Hmm. Well, I mean, what was your favorite one? Like, you know, I was whatever? really good um, in this one. <laughs> which one did you like? Which one did you Which like? one are you most proud of? Yeah, okay. Right, thank I you. I think... Uh, Ramsey, come on. I think right, my America, like, show? shoe video part is probably, like, my yeah. most, because it was, like, 
Wait, your America, which one? The, the shoe video one? Where yeah. I had a shoe video part. With the kickflip over the bump over, to bar. Yeah, the bump to bar yeah, and, yeah. like, tray flip over that other bump to bar. That was sick, dude. And, I don't uh, know if I've ever seen that before. Well, tray flip over, tray flip over a bump to bar? Oh, I don't. Know. I got a new one over that too for the America video. I'm pretty hyped on. Spoiler alert. Nah, no, nah. No. Nothing. Uh, Come on. Nah. Come on. No. Let them no. Know. Switch or regular? When do I ever skate switch? I know. Fakey. <laughs> so it's a regular trick. We've narrowed that down. Yeah. It's the over a bump flip. to bar. It's over that bump to bar. Tray flip, snapping a carrot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vegetarian. <laughs> Just, but, um, sorry. Right. What, what, what trick was it? Well, I, do you want me to answer the first question or what's what <laughs> trick is it? You gotta you gotta have to wait. Yeah. It's like I worked. I seriously I went. How many I, people are gonna watch this? I podcast? skated this. None. I skated. None. This, yeah, but I skated this bump to bar for seriously like three hours, jumping over until my leg was dead. My legs were dead, and then I went home for like two days. And seriously, I like couldn't walk. And then Cronin's like, "Dude, we gotta do this. We gotta do this." Cause, like Cronin, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we were working on an interview and. Um, <laughs> Oh shit! It's already out anyway. Do you want me to? I know I could guess it. Is it a big spin flip? No. Good guess though. Yeah, that was a pretty good guess, right? I, I, I want. I've been wanting to try that one, but it's like it's really hard to. It's already out. The trick's already out. Yeah, already this is a magazine. It. I just back it over it. Oh. I was pretty hyped. Oh, sick! Hell right. yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, but I, I worked really hard for that one, and I was like, that was awesome. Uh, it's, I think it's different though when you see a clip. Yeah, yeah. A video clip or any video clip because in the, a photo is a photo, but yeah, seeing the whole project is pretty cool. Yeah. Sure. yeah. All right, so back to the original question of your um, favorite part. Yeah, I think probably my shoe video because. Uh, Could you stop jogging yourself for a second? Jesus, I'm trying to have a conversation. Man. Oh, you're talking to him. So, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. My favorite Jesus, part. Jesus, Brandon is so full of himself. My favorite part. So my favorite part question. for myself was myself. <laughs> in my shoe video <laughs> for my shoe. All right, what was the – so you are most proud of your shoe? Yeah, part. just because it was like shortly after Stay Gold, which I like worked on that one for a long time. And then I went back to like kind of some spots that I had skated in the Stay Gold video. And I like had done tricks that I, I like – You had to push yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. I did like different harder tricks for yeah. sure. And it was like also like in a short amount of time. And like I just – I don't know. For like what – for what we got in that amount of time with, like, I don't know, skating, like, the same spots and doing different shit. It was, like... It's know, pretty, pretty gnarly different. because, like, your stay gold part came out and everyone was like, damn, that was amazing. And then I, you hit him over the head with another one, like, right away, like, which was just as good. So, pretty good way to Yeah, do it. I was pretty stoked on that. Because it was also, like, it was only supposed to be, like, some web clip and then, like... The guys in America started, like, promoting it as, like, this video. So then it got all, like, I was like, oh, my God. Probably because they saw what you were getting, and they're like, well, you can promote well, it. Well, no, I don't even know. At first, I had, like a, like, a lot of, like, leftover stuff in the video that was still really good. So yeah. that's what that was supposed to be. And then mine was like, we should work on trying to, like, just make and, like, get new shit and make a sick clip. And then it just turned into this, like, oh, fuck, now I have to, like, they're promoting it. I, people are expecting some video, and now I have to, like... I was really nervous, basically, to have, like, I was hyped on my stagel part, and then... It's like, how do you top it? And then, yeah, like, topping it in, like, a short amount of time, and, like, f- you know, like, my shoe's supposed to come out, it's just, like, hopefully people like this. And how, how's your shoe doing? I imagine it's doing good, man. You, I never ask. I don't want to know. You don't want to know? <laughs> no. <laughs> it seems to be doing good, dude. I see kids rocking it and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, if you sell one pair, it's an honor, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, definitely. Anyone who will rock your own pro gear is, like, pretty sick. I don't like to know the numbers, though, because I get fucking all worked up and shit. I don't know. Yeah. I don't like to know that shit. I think you're good, dude. I wouldn't worry about it. I guess if it's bad, you won't see it on the shelf anymore. Yeah, that's how you'll know. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, sorry, man. We don't need any more of your video parts. Fuck yeah. off. <laughs> Okay, here's a real serious question from Joel Maddock um, on Instagram. Um, can he ollie over a large child? And I'm genuinely curious. Do you think you could ollie over, like, a good child? What's a large child? Know, like, how, what's the, the height? Thing. I don't know. Like, say, could you ollie over a four-year-old, do you think? Maybe not how a... high is a four-year-old? As high as this table? You think a four-year-old is that big? Yeah. How many four-year-olds have you seen? That's, like, 26-year-old midget. Jesus. Dude. No, that's pretty tall. You think you could ollie over that? Fucking yeah. Uh, I think I could get over it. I don't know if I could land on my board. Yeah. Might clip the kid's head a couple times. Have you ever been tempted to just, like, like uh, ollie, ollie a child? Like, yeah. skating down the sidewalk, you see a little Maybe kid. Maybe just like, skating at the edge. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, fuck these little bastards standing <laughs> in the way. You're just rolling. Like, I think I'm just going to ollie over this Most one. of those have helmets on them, so I'm like, it would be fine. Oh, hey, um, 
fuck the questions real quick. Um, didn't you bring something for Ramsey? Oh, yeah. Show it to the camera. When, when... Is it going to fall out of the sack? Yeah, you just pull it out of there. Oh, God. <laughs> didn't you bring something for Ramsey? Because <laughs> doesn't Ramsey have a crush on Erica? <laughs> I have no idea. Here, let me see that. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, we got Erica a little, uh, I mean Erica, we got Ramsey a little Erica mug. Nice. It doesn't look dishwasher safe. No, yeah, this thing is... It's a nice bag, though. Nice. No, the bag... Give me the bag back. Get the <laughs> hell out of here. That's your mug. Awesome. Anything to say about that? Uh, thank you. It's You're a good welcome. mug. It's nice. It's, it's a pretty mug. Let's put that it's on... It's not, uh... Don't dishwasher... It's no, not yeah, dishwasher it's safe. definitely so. not dishwasher safe. Yeah, it looks like scotch tape. <laughs> 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 Fucking dickhead. Dude. Last episode we did, which isn't even out yet, with Pachinski, uh... We discussed about Ramsey's crush on uh, Erica. He didn't really want anyone to know about it, but uh, once I know something, it's hard to keep it inside. Um, I mean, I just didn't want her to bother me with like phone calls or anything. <laughs> just, 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 just like of, Erica, keep God, key. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's Erica again. Uh, she just keeps calling. What the hell? It's the beard, dude. The beard does it. Sucks him in. Yeah. Once you uh. once you see that thing, it's glorious. Yeah. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got a question on there? Or? I fucking lost it. And I don't know how to get it. Do you back. feel a little? I feel a little awkwardness between me and Ramsey right now. Here, here, just stop breaking my computer. Okay? I don't deal with the fucking Max, dude. I got a PC. Sucks. Damn, you totally shot down his morale. It's all just like damn the music. <laughs> yeah, he's like pouting and shit over here now. <laughs> I'm embarrassed because I had a crush on her. No, I'm not embarrassed. I mean, then, then tell her how you feel, Ramsey. <laughs> tell her how you feel. I think she's sexy, dude. Whatever. Damn. She has the whitest teeth that teeth I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Her teeth are pretty white. I'm sure she brushes them thoroughly. What do you got? I don't know, it's fucking like all the same. They all want to know how you get your pop, dude. Just Fuck that question. It's like God damn every it. other question. He's born with the fucking what's the secret strong of your calves. Pop? Fucking. Oh, what's your best tour story? I mean, I feel we like already kind of went for that. Yeah, do you? Do you? Why do you think you're cool? That's a legit question, because you're bragging about your parts and shit. Who right drives right? you to do all your tricks? Who? Yeah. Fucking shit. Oh, no, what? Shetler, what? Shetler does. What You better fucking you? land that shit. Or we still, we've been slacking on our taunting part, our scares. I know, part. dude. I still have the footage, but. I thought you were O's. No, well, I, I can't. I've been back. learning new tricks there and shit. I'm, day I, I'm almost back skating. I just went the other day, and I was, like, cruising around, and I was feeling a lot better. That stupid fucking vertigo. Fucking got me down, dude. Knock you on your ass. I'm been oh, fighting. I did, did a couple times <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, just like doing simple shit. What? It just comes back out of nowhere? No, but it's just like it's lingering right now. Like when I first had it, it was super bad, and now it's just like when I move around real fast, I get like my eyes, my vision gets blurred, and I feel hazy. So like, imagine trying to skate where you're like kind of slightly out of focus the whole time. Yeah. So that's like how it is. It's almost gone, but it's in its last leg right now, and it's like makes it hard to be comfortable on my skateboard. So I don't even want to like really skate because I feel like I'll just get really hurt doing something simple. Yeah. Like I dropped in yesterday, and it felt crazy because like my depth perception is off a little bit because it's the balance and everything. So like when I fall, I can't tell how close I am to the ground. Yeah. But it, besides that, when I'm normal and when I'm just chilling and shit, I feel 100%. But it's just, like, almost gone. I feel like a, another week or two, I'll be, like, straight. Mm-hmm. Basically, I, he's saying, like, he's a fucking pussy. Yeah, it's like I'm a vegetarian. That's all I heard coming out of it. Pretty now. much. It's yeah. like I'm a vegetarian. It like it's like I just eat vegetables all pussy day Pussy juice is just flowing. <laughs> if you were eating vegetables, your shit would be clear as day. The fucking carrots, you know what they do? They clear your vision, don't you know? You want to pull out your vegetable Bible and preach to me some more? God damn it. <laughs> Hey, I'm just trying to help you out, man. No, I agree. Just trying dude, to get you back on the board. I talk You know to what they say about the fucking carrots. I know, I know. I they, that's the problem with vertigo. They say you need a lot of vitamin C too, and vi- vitamin C is from oranges. Vagina go. Ar- yeah, vagina go. I have vagina go. Thank you, thank you. So you had that shit for like two months. It's gonna be two months on the sixth. Shit. They told me people have. Well, it for what a are year. carrots? I thought carrots just made you see good. But exactly. <laughs> Isn't that his fucking problem? No, you, you can can't tell Ramsey just out. He's getting blurred. <laughs> good. He's getting blurred. So good. Can you tell the big C good? Yeah. Yeah. Which those carrots do? What do you do? Vegetables. <laughs> How about those green beans? I'm just playing. Fuck you guys. No, but they say drink a lot of vitamin C, so oranges and carrots are orange, so I imagine they ain't. No. Oh, yeah, fucking, I'm the stupid one. It's if so it's fucking fat. orange, it's vitamin C. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. All right, here we go. What do your parents think of you skateboarding? From Jonathan 
Henry quiz again. You probably think it's great. Yeah, no, why not? Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Uh, I don't really have All right, I'm, guess, I'm going questions uh, now. Ramsey. Like, dude, hey, mom, dad, you Ramsey. gave me Facebook. Instagram's questions are way better. All right, here we go. Don't catch the clap. 90, 90, 941 is asking. Um, great fucking Insta handle, by the way. Don't catch the clap. Funny. All right. What is the greatest thing that skateboarding has given you the chance to do besides doing something you love to do every day? So what's the greatest thing it's given you to, yeah. Uh, I guess I've got a house. I'm pretty hyped on yeah, that. Yeah, I like, never really thought I'd be able to like buy a house. That's so, huge. Dude. Yeah, and like do something I like to do. And it's the brand smart with his money from what I can tell too because every time I talk to him, he's always like, oh, I'm just trying to pay off the house. Just trying to pay off the house. Is that like something that you you just really focused on doing? Is just paying off as much as possible? Yeah, definitely. It's good, man, because people forget skateboard money. Like especially with the industry and like the recession and like you never know like what happens. So it's like put that money instead of buying fucking yeah. meat and fucking Not that instead bad. of buying <laughs> chicken and beef all the time. Dude, no, actually, <laughs> vegetables are way more expensive than meat. We are gonna get some chickens though for next year for the eggs. Yeah. But, uh, you can come shoot one if you want. <laughs> no, you, no you don't shoot. You don't shoot a chicken, dude. Oh, you twist its, its neck. neck. Yeah, you twist its Fuck neck. That you neck go up. like this, and you drain the blood. You gotta have them upside down. But that's something you're like focused on doing is just paying off your house. And, like, yeah, definitely. Why? Why is that? Like, I mean, besides the obvious reasons, like, like I, I just think it'd be nice to like because you're only 23. If right? I if I was to own my house and never have to worry about like. I could get some bullshit job after skating and pay the utilities, but, I mean, no one's going to take my house away. And I don't have a mortgage payment. Like, a mortgage payment's pretty expensive, so yeah. if I can't skate, I mean, I don't have a – can't really put on my job application. I was a professional skateboarder. That's not really <laughs> going to get me anywhere. You're hired. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts, you're hired. Yeah, so, I don't know. Just figured, fuck it. As I guess as my I, As long as I have somewhere to live, that's nice. It's nice to know and not have to pay for it. It's like, fuck that. I don't have to go, like, rent anywhere. Yeah. I guess my real question is, like – you're only 23, and you've been buying... When did you get your house? How long ago? Uh, like, we've had it for, like, four years. Okay, so you were, like, 19 buying a home. My question is, like, what what gave you your maturity at 19 to be, like, I want to buy a home and pay it off? Like, where, where is no, it? No, I think I just got, like, the opportunity to be, like, I could buy, it, buy a house, and I'll just start looking at houses. Like, hell yeah, I don't want to... If I don't have to live in my pants... Hallelujah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Pretty fucking whatever. And then found a nice house, and my mom actually hooked it up. She did a lot of the, like, inside bullshit to, like, make it happen, and then got the house. And then I was thinking, you know, I don't know. That's always, like, my, my thing is, like, skating never lasts forever. And you see people, like, that are killing it. They could be killing it for, like, two years and then just done. So it's, like, I don't know. If, if like, I'm not making money from skating, I'm probably going to be broke, so I'm not going to be able to pay him on the fucking mortgage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I just, know. I only ask because I've met tons of 19-year-olds that start making money off of skateboarding, and they just fucking spend it on the stupidest shit. I think even when I first started making money, I was like, I bought, like, fish tanks and, like, fucking reptiles. Yeah, you had like, so many fish tanks? Yeah, because I was just like, I, I fucking, from the projects to fucking making money off of skateboarding, I'm like, I need to buy stupid <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. that typical bullshit, Good you know rich, what I mean? Baby. So, like, I was just like, I wonder, like, Brandon's always been pretty mature for his age and, like, focused. Well, I just have this weird mindset where I get really paranoid if I'm, like, for one, if I'm going to put all this money into the house, like, to pay it off, like, I don't want it to be a complete fucking waste. Like, like I, I have don't to give it back. Yeah, like, like foreclose. Like, all right, I could have just, like, blown that money on something else. But also, like, like I put, like, the wood stove insert, and I've cut all this, cut and split all this wood. I have, like, probably, like, six, seven cords of wood in the in my backyard, which is it's kind of That's a lot of wood. Yeah. And it's, like, like if, if we had to, we could heat the house with the wood instead of, like, because propane's so expensive to heat our yeah, house. So it's retarded. We dude. could heat the house for, basically for free, because I cut all the wood and split it myself. So Yeah, you didn't have to. It's, do. like, I, I always think of, like, this type of shit. Because I know skating doesn't last, you, and especially, like, now it's, like, you're seeing, like, the older generation, like, dwindling down. It's, like, people, like, have just, like, made a bunch of money but don't still don't have anything, and then they have to go get a job. And it's, like, I just don't really want to live like that. Yeah, yeah, I Speaking agree. Speaking of that, Isaac Robinson has a question. If you didn't get anywhere skating, what would you be doing? Or well, where do you think you'd be? That's a good follow-up question. Right? Um, probably, uh, I was, like, going to school to be, like, a marine mechanic. There was, like, it was, like, welding, fucking fiberglass work engine work like all boats like boat shit so i'd probably just was where'd you go to school upper cape yeah that's that's, that's cool so i'd probably and it's like 11th and 12th grade you can go get a job if you have good grades yeah, you can get the job work. yeah and you get paid to for the week 
And then, like, when you get out of high school, you can go to that job full time. So I'd probably just is that something right you're now. into? Yeah, I love that shit. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of like just like all types of shit like that. Yeah, you seem to be like into like building and like yeah. I, I, you should see my wood shop down in my basement. It's killing it's it, fucking sick. Now that my display cases are out of there, or my no, one of them's still in there, the biggest one. Oh really? Yeah, you Sorry. have another one in there. Sorry, man. Do you, do you know uh, Emmett Emmett <laughs> Emmett, Emmett Brislin? Emmett Brislin. Hell yeah, Emmett's tight. He's what up, saying, Emmett? Tell him uh, Upper Cape sucks dick. Yeah, that's yeah, a good definitely. Follow. Upper Hello. Cape does suck dick, but it's like. I don't know. It's better than the way I'm high. I think it's better than, like, if you don't know what you want to do with school, it's like, go to a fucking vocation. Well, I wasn't going to go to college. I'm, I'm, like, dumb as a yeah. stump. And I'm not going to pay, <laughs> people pay, like, 50 grand to go to college and then get out with a $50,000 debt and, like, you know, don't get a good job. You don't get paid until you, like, work your way up. I agree, dude. And it's just like, all right, well, fuck $50,000 you could buy. Like, that's a nice down payment on a house. Yeah. And the thing the thing is, like, college is good for you if you know what you want to do. And how many kids that age know what they want to do? Oh, yeah, and then, no. like, just, they're like, just the parents are like, just go, you'll figure out what you want to go. Take general education. At least you'll be getting it done. And it's like, they do that for a couple of years, and they're like, I don't even want to go to college. And you're already just, in debt. They just go to school to, like, get an alcohol problem. Yeah, a lot of people do. <laughs> so, I mean, and you know what's another big crusher of people is... Not having health insurance and having to go to the hospital, one big injury, and then you're fucking 50 grand in debt, too. And it's like, how do you get on your feet when there's no jobs and you're just like, fuck, it's just a bullshit. Yeah, speaking of injuries, Jared Blake said, what's your worst injury you've ever had? Besides being a vegetarian. Yeah, yeah that's my downfall. Clearly, that's a staggering That's uh That's one that follows me for a long time. <laughs> it's just slowly going to kill me. But, uh... Probably uh, rolled my ankle at this Maloof contest, like, worst I've Ooh, ever done. That like, was the worst? worst? I remember that. And, uh, I remember when you told me about Yeah, it. shit swelled up, and it was black and blue, and then got it x-rayed, and basically just, like, sprained it or, like, tore some ligaments in there, and then went to... Was it your front foot or your back foot? Uh, my flip foot. It was your flip foot? Yeah. Didn't seem to slow you down, though. You just... No, I did for a while. But your flicks back to normal were all good? Yeah, kind of. I, I just have, like, this rubber band thing. I do these exercises. All right, here's my question. Did you film the fucking kickflip for that America ad for the flick shit? Yeah, that was after. That was that. Okay, yeah, flick's so fine. I think Shut I'm the fuck up. <laughs> hey, fucking asshole. <laughs> He's like, ah, it's not quite there. Son of a bitch. No, but it's still, it's just like, now it's just like that thing in the back of your head, and it's fucking hurt so bad I was about to throw up. Like, for, like, hours after, I'm just, like, <laughs> laying in the hotel, like, wanting to throw up. Cause Sucks it was at bad. a fucking contest, too. Yeah, right? it was, like, the last day, like, oh, time, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna try to land this, trying to tray flip the, the fucking big stairs that I don't, I don't ever skate the big stairs, and, of course, these dumb contests, you're forced to jump down this thing that, like, you know, normally wouldn't want to jump down. Yeah, I don't skate that shit. Fuck some. that. I wouldn't even what film Malouf, anything on that. What Maloof was it? New York? Uh, Washington. Washington. I mean, dude, I video parts all day, dude. That's yeah. a huge thing. I feel like they're trying to turn skateboarding into a fucking sport. Put look at the Maloofs, the the thing, the Maloofs Street League, the Dew Cups. I do the Dew Tours too, and they're fun. Don't get me wrong, and you get a little bit of money and all that stuff. And I understand people wanting to do them and make that money, but that shouldn't be the only way to make money in skateboarding. You know, I feel like more people. They need to find another way. It needs to be a lifestyle thing, not a sport thing. It's it like, needs to be like music and entertainment, this, not athletes. Contest is just boring because it's like the same old guys skate it and the same old guys win it. It's but like, even but even Street League tried to spice it up and they got all these street skaters in there and shit. It's just being yeah, boxed in and having a formula. You don't even see you don't even see the street skaters that are in there because you only get to see the finals on TV. So it's Chris Cole, Nyjah, yeah. Chaz, the Sheckler. The yeah, same fucking guys. Like, you see those guys in the finals every Malou, fucking... You see them at all those contests <laughs> yeah. finals, too. Yeah, those motherfuckers just win that shit. I mean, it's time. not their fault for being good at that shit. By yeah. all means, make your money and okay. whatever. But I don't think that's all skateboarding should be with all these huge corporate sponsors just, like, trying to pack us all into fucking concentration camps. You know what I mean? Yeah. To make us compete. Skateboarding is always about, like, doing what you want, when you want to do, and... Uh, individuality, which is the best thing about skateboarding. Because I remember when I got in, it wasn't a cool thing. It was just, like... Fuck, you could be weird as shit, but if you're just down for skating, you're accepted. And then, like, now it seems like they're just trying to, like, turn you into a bunch of sheep and make you wear the same gear and the same whatever, same clothes, same shit, skate the same shit, the same skate park, judge you on the same tricks. It's just, like, skateboarding is not what it used to be. I love skateboarding, but the industry side, like, we need to, like, take control. And that's kind of what the podcast thing is all about is, like, 
kind of given different perspectives of the individual. You know what I mean? Of the skaters. Yeah. So you can learn more about your pro skateboarders and who gives a fuck if they do the best in the contest. You know that they rip and their heart's in the right place and you can become a genuine fan of like them. You know what I mean? Not just their tricks. The yeah. skateboarding is more than tricks. Like if, if you're just doing it for fucking no, fame and notoriety and shit like that, then it's just tricks. But if you got like – if you expose who you are and share more about your story to everyone and they – Get to know who you are. It's like we're all friends. We're in a community. You know what I mean? You should know more about your pro skaters, the people you look up to, you know, yeah. on their own terms. And this is a perfect way to do it is through the Shetler show. You come on and we just talk about whatever we want to talk about and touch on some real shit, make fun of you because you're a vegetarian. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like that's why we had 60 questions for Westgate because people want to know. These kids like in normal interviews don't do it justice because you can't feel the intent in the words because it's just words and paper. And you, you know, you might get misquoted or something. This you can tell. Like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you though. Like, wanting to know like about people, and then like, you know, it's like whatever a little kid, and you start to go on trips with people, and you just like start to learn people. It's just like, all right, this guy's a complete fucking idiot. Some kind of wish, kind of <laughs> wish I didn't know this now because it ruined. Every, hey, but everything the, that I looked up to. But so. the cream rises to the top, dude. So the yeah. more people know, if people are like, oh, that dude shreds, but he's a fucking idiot, yeah. then they're going to, kids mean, are going to see that and yeah. be like, fuck him. It's, you Some people are idiots in good ways, though, where it's funny. Yeah, where sure. they're awesome. They're yeah, just like, that dude's awesome. amazingly yeah. fucking horrible. Yeah. But you know what I mean? But like, kids can pick up on that, and people in general, not just kids, but there's tons of people that just love skateboarding. I love skateboarding. I'm a huge fan of skateboarders and skateboarding, and I want to know as much about it as possible. So, dude, like, I know tons of pros I met, and I was like, that dude's the best, and then I and then I actually met them, and I was like, that dude's the worst. Yeah. And now I look at every trick, and I'm like, I could give two shits. It's just tricks. Yeah, it like ruins it. It's just like, oh my god. One dude, alright, here's here. here's a question, because for me, the one dude, there's two dudes I met that, like, I love their skating, and I was super fans, super fan of them, and then I met them, and they lived up to it. Susky and Louis Barletta. Those are my two that I was, like, super fan about before I met them, and then after I met them, I was like, tenfold. Like, these dudes are gods you know what i mean like because i'm just like they're epic people and they shed so good Who's i met that guy ray barbie and he was like the sickest dude i've yeah. ever met like really nice and like i don't know i never knew shit shit about him really before except for like you know he's fucking yeah because he's like not your generation so yeah or no, mine, definitely not, not even mine but it's yeah. just weird like you meet a guy like that and he was just like instantly like just such a bro he it's seems cool. very genuine he makes yeah. music too yeah yeah he was just like talking about that and stuff yeah pretty cool. That's cool. Oh, um, what's an, an I ask all the all my guests this is like, what's something that's I guess we kind of talked about it a little bit. Like, what's a hobby you have besides skating? Like something that you could like that you're into. Like, is it wood like building stuff? And you were yeah. talking about your wood shop. Yeah, pretty shit. much, pretty much just building shit. I like to just do stuff like around the house. Do you ever think up. about like maybe doing like a little webisode thing like once a month where you like build something new and you just make like a five minute video and put it out there like you building it and just talking about it <laughs> no people would be interested i know it sounds stupid but like i'd watch that i'd you, be like damn that'd be cool like westgate made a fucking rocking horse no because it's nephews. like i'm in the i'm in the process of like learning how to build the shit so it's like but what, that's even what you, better what are you building like well basically i built i built the whole room like which took me it took me about a year like just doing it here and there it's like because it was in it's in the basement and the basement is just cement walls so I insulated the walls with that foam board. I put like a vapor barrier up. I what's a vapor barrier? It's just like a piece of plastic, so in case there's any moisture comes yeah. through the concrete wall. So you need to film yeah. this shit because yeah. I don't even know that. <laughs> so put that up, then um, framed in the whole basement, and there's all the duct work. So I had a frame. So around it's, all finished that. Now, finished? it's finished now. You finished now. Sheetrock the whole thing. I ele- I put all the electrical in there, like outlets. I did the electrical all by basic. yourself. Yeah, as basic as I possibly could. It's just like you know runs from the box to each outlet that's it and then the light just one switch so it's fucking it's the easiest way to do it it's whatever and then i built all of these cabinets i'll show you if you want to stop by our house because yeah, sure. i'm not giving you a ride home yeah but i built all the cabinets and then i built all the countertops and then i built like it's small down there so i have like like a router table in this like cart that i built yeah. so you could pull it out and like run like if you want to run like stuff the long way like an eight foot piece to route of that you have to pull it out and stuff and then i built like there's like those uh pegboard things so you can hang shit on yeah. there and then Same. just tri- trim i built all like you can make the um trim like from the router that i have like i have a planer so like you you buy like a 
three quarter inch piece of, of of like wood, you plane it down to like half inch because that's like what that's like what your baseboard is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like you know you make the I have a router bit that makes a design, so, so I did all that and then painted the whole place. So it's got like a real finished look. To yeah, it. it's not like I built rigged. I built French doors. Damn, oh, sick. sick. Yeah, they're like, and I built I always like try to build shit if I don't know what I'm doing as cheap as possible. So I just took like stock like I don't know two by sixes and then I just cut a groove in there and then like um little almost like uh I don't know what you want to call it but just like tails that fit into like the groove so it's like that's it basically is like a puzzle that fits all together yeah it slides and, and yeah that's sick dude do you have do you ever build anything else like you build like a little fucking box or something I built uh like my, my brother wanted this nightstand thing I'm pretty hyped on that and uh I built that it's just like pretty much just like a box and it's got like inset um draws with like a face frame type thing and then i took um because i have a bunch of logs in the backyard and it's all oak yeah and i have i got this one saw that i can just like rip the logs up just like full pieces of logs Damn. just rip them up and then i ripped them up into like just like blocks and i made like feet out of them oh, so. didn't you make your girl um uh, a night a vanity night, a vanity yeah. yeah so what i'm saying is this is what we need to do i have an hd camera Call me up next time you're gonna build some. It make, takes me. It takes a long time. I built all these uh, cabinets for the garage too. Well, this let's thing where you can open it up. Let's pick something small. It. Like let's find something small that you can make in like, you know, a day or something. We'll film an episode. We'll call it Woodshop with Bre- with Westgate. Woodshop with Westgate. We'll put it out whenever you come up with like something cool you're gonna make. Right. And we just like film you doing it and your little explanation here and there. We edit it. We put it online. People can see it. Like, it's just another content out there. My big thing is trying to get skateboarders to do other things, like, skateboard, but also film other things you do, too, because I think, like, skateboarders should rule the world. And, like, yeah. how tight would it be if, like, Brandon got a TV show for, like, building? Like, just another, use your notoriety in skateboarding to, like, to move into another direction, too. Yeah. I, another thing that I've been, like, real into, because I actually got into this because your brother left that fucking harness at my house. Oh, the tree. Yeah. 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 And my Harper. girl's... Yeah, it's sick. It's a good fucking harness. Yeah, he like, bought, he, it was expensive. The the arborist uh, equipment's super expensive. Yeah, I uh, my girl's mom has a bunch of trees, and she's like, oh, I want these down. And I was like, oh, I got this harness. Like maybe I can climb up there and, and do it. And I bought the fucking spikes because he didn't nice. have the spikes. It was like two hundred bucks for the fucking spikes. Yeah, and then I got hold, this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a um, tree. It's some, not your mole hair, but oh, just the dog hair. I have a tree trimming saw, so I've I've gotten up into I've cut Cronin's tree down, the biggest tree I've ever been in. Like you couldn't even, dude. Let's film this. Yeah, you that's an episode right the, there. The Actually, thing I have a the tree. Bottom. I have a tree in my yard that we need to cut down. Let's do this. You right. down? I'm serious. Yeah, I can no, I'm I can serious. look at it. It's like I'm not I'm not a professional, but I've I've cut down some limbs. When has like, that ever stopped anyone? Cronin's got that had this limb that was hanging over a garage, and we hooked this rope to it to the truck, and I went up and I limbed it down. Were you nervous? Yes, yeah, so nervous. I kept. I, this is what I do. When it's a situation like that, I go, all right, like, this is hooked up as best as I know how to hook this up. If you feel uncomfortable, you're like, like here, could you sign this? I know, I don't say that. I go, <laughs> I go, this is on you. If you want me to cut this, I will. If if not, I, I won't. And I cut down half his tree, and it was huge. <laughs> and, and I've taken down, like, ones at my girl's mom's house and Damn, stuff. See. Dude, I got this fucking tree that's going to either crush my house. I'm hoping it crushes my car so I can get some insurance money. But <laughs> it doesn't look like we've been through fucking hurricanes and storms, and it's just not happening. But it's dead. And when it falls, it's going to fuck shit up. Dude, I can come try to by. cut it down for you. Yeah, we'll come by. Anthony will film it. You can keep all the wood. Yeah. Because I don't have any money to pay. What kind of tree is it? It's a fucking <laughs> big tree, dude. I don't it's know. Not, is it like oak tree or... It's not a pine tree. It's not. It's, it's not a pine tree. Yeah, it's a regular fucking tree. You climb. You can climb. Because right. what I'm trying... Well, you can climb any tree. No, I want to go see fucking climb a pine tree. You can, no problem. No problem? Have you seen yeah. these forearms? He's a I fucking forgot. bogger, no, dude. It's not even... You, you, don't, you don't even use your hands to climb the tree. It's you have a harness with a rope. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, a harness. Spikes. I'm talking about like a regular tree that you can climb. Oh yeah, well I'm not gonna just go up and climb the tree. I'm gonna have All the right. harness on no matter. <laughs> I have to be hooked into the tree to fucking cut the tree down. <laughs> I want you to cut my tree down. All right. He wants you to do it with no safety equipment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't just don't get up in the tree. Because like what, what I want to do, Brandon, is we could film this and what basically I have my YouTube channel. Check it out. Subscribe, please. It's all I need to skate um, on YouTube, and I have. Basically, it's my TV channel on YouTube, and we have different shows. So on there is basically a bunch of skateboard clips, and then the first show is the Shetler show. That's my first channel show. So let's do a Westgate channel. 
Huh? Where it's like that that could be your first episode. I mean, and I it doesn't really need it. And the thing, uh, the thing, I'm, I'm down. me I'll and my dad were gonna do it, but he's got like a broken neck, broken back, and it's like, <laughs> your dad. What's wrong? With he's a vegetable. <laughs> no, but he, no, he well, he had a broken neck. Oh, broken I see. Back, I see. Now he's like, so he's not gonna climb that. Yeah, he like there. wants me to do it, but I'm like, we don't have a harness. I can, shit. Yeah, I, can get get a, I have to. I I got like the best saw that I could get to like climb yeah, the really, fucking trees. I got actually have two saws. I would really appreciate that. That when can we do it? Awesome. I'm putting pressure on I mean, I, I'm not going to be out. It's just really cold right now. Yeah. It's hard to, like, when it even, like, out. my fucking hands be up there and, like, frozen. So it's got to be, like, yeah, I mean, 40, 40, 45, 50 is right. fine. I'm but, like, right you. now it's freezing. I'm going to hound you. Can, you I, take a, how can I take a piss break? Yeah, go ahead. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Don't eat it. sounds it. weird when you take those yeah, off. Hey, don't don't go in my fridge and eat any of my vegetables. There's a lot of good. Oh, you missed out on asparagus, asparagus last night, night, dude. It's good shit, right? Dude, I love asparagus. Stay away from our asparagus. All My right. piss smelled crazy this morning. Son of a bitch. How's it going? You think this good. is going good? I think it's going alright. I'm a little nervous. I feel like we're blowing it. Just kidding. Ah. Speaking of asparagus. Yeah? Your pee was that bad? So bad, dude. Really? I don't. Mine never really gets that bad. Fucking. You only had like one or two, didn't you? I only had one. And my fucking piss was like neon, fucking bright, fucking yellow, dude. Do you like, want me to get you a drink or nah, dude. nothing? No, <laughs> you're a fucking asshole, dude. <laughs> what? I just thought that would Westgate brought what it. What is she holding? Uh, oh, it's her fucking bobblehead, dude. Yeah, Erica on Erica. Pink Floyd. That's good. Band. Erica, let's get you on the Shetler show. We want to bring you on. That way we can hang out and talk. And you've already met Ramsey before, you yeah. know, with the pie in the face type shit. Yep, yep, yep. It was a good day. He doesn't really have a crush. He he just thinks you're sexy. He doesn't have a crush on you. He doesn't want to date you or nothing. Nah, I mean, you can come on the show and he wouldn't be creepy. No, nah, I'm not creepy. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I have no chance. <laughs> you're so hard on yourself, dude. Come on. I mean, I'm fucking. Most girls don't like overweight, really hairy dudes. Dude, you got the personality, though. I have to. I have no choice but to have personality. If I was a chick, I'd date you. If I was a dickhead, I'd have no friends. Yeah, I'm but fat. I'm not that attractive. I'm really hairy. <laughs> I'm hairy, too, man. I don't even fault yourself for that one. Yeah, but I mean, look at you fucking... You got a fucking pole thing in your fucking room. You got fucking... I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You got a pro skateboarder. You got fucking... <laughs> Bought a house, dude. I live with my parents. I'm fucking fat as hell. We're changing this, man. This is I'm, I'm on the move. 2013 the move. is the year of Ramsey. I'm on the come up. You're fucking right. It is. All right, so let's 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 talk about this with Brandon. How long have you known Ramsey? You've known him for years, right? Deep. Yeah. Skate shop. Definitely. Skate yeah. shop brought us all together. What do you think of the guy? Let's give him the flowers while he's still alive. What do you think of him? I think he's a great guy. Thanks, yeah. Man. If you were a girl, would you date him? Definitely. I said the same thing. I would. He's, he's got a personality. Hell yeah. And that's more important than looks at this yeah. point. You know what I mean? I feel like he would take his shirt off his own back to hook me up with it. Yeah. Would. Don't. Don't do it. I have a natural shirt always on. Yeah. <laughs> Sweater. Wolverine. <laughs> he would take his shirt off and give it to you. I yeah. know he would. Um, it'd be my shirt that I gave him because he's homeless at the time. But uh, <laughs> he would take it off and give it to you. You sure. do give me most of my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Hit up RP for some product, dude. No. Get the right shoes in your side, man. I know, man. World Industries, your sponsor of the show. Hook up, hook up Ramsey. No, you already, no, they will. They're they already said people. they would. They, yeah, you know what? It's people. not even on you, World. It's on yeah, Ramsey because he hasn't, he hasn't hit it's, him up. It's fucking, you know, it's like, it's like holiday break. I'm just letting everyone all have right, time. All right, all right, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hound him. All right, all right. Coming for them shoes. All right, I got, I'm gonna whip up another question for this guy. Um, oh, this is a good one. Hey, everyone out there, if you don't buy Filmbot Grip. You're blowing it. Don't listen to Westgate. Whatever he promotes, on blah blah. Get film by it. It's actually bro stylist the new hot shit on the fucking market. I'm gonna have to edit this. Part I'm all out. about the solstice uh, Jessup grip myself. Um. Uh. So Mackendo from Filmbot, he's awesome. He says, if you had to leave Zoo and money wasn't a factor, what team would you ride for, and what homie would you bring along? Dum dum dum. I guess probably just make my own shit. I just make Damn, my own work. That's the shit it. I'm talking about. <laughs> Fuck it. Who's okay, your, who, I'll take you. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. There it is. We've been homies on all the teams. Yeah. We're the dudes in the van. Just yeah, I, I was actually really bummed, like, once you, like, left Zeke, because I was like, fuck, man. 
Because I had, like, known you forever, and I had, like, been on trips with you forever, and, like, it's my homie, and then I was just like, oh, man, I have to deal with all these fucking... It's tough. It was like, we're all... Every team we've skated for, we've been, like, family, brothers. Like, I consider you my family, like... Yeah. And, uh, when we had to split up from being on the same sponsor, it really sucked. It was yeah. like, where's my homie? Because in the van, that was, like, what it is. It's like, you know when you're on tour, and you're dealing with a lot of people, and you like everyone, but you're just, like, you're, like, you need someone that you can just go and hang out with, and... Just, like, crack a joke or just be yeah. stupid. And, and it was, like, at that point, it was just, like, almost like having my brother on the trip or some shit. It was, yeah. like, it was, like, family on the trip. So it was, like, a different feeling than just, like, a bunch of dudes that, like, live somewhere else. Like, I live, like, right now. I, like, I fucking see you after the trips, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it was cool. Don't worry. We'll ride for the same team again someday. I believe it. Yeah, that's the Westgate brand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What, 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 do you have a name, you think, if you ever did? You'd... I don't have a name, no. no. It'd be fun, dude. That'd be sick. Um, what may, all right, Corey Deal one on Instagram says, what makes you want to push yourself to do bigger stuff slash progress? That's a genuine question, like. I mean, I guess just the fact of, like, I think that's just the way skateboarding is. You're, like, either, like, stepping it up or you're fucking out of the game. What motivates you? What's your reasoning behind No, I don't know. I just like to, uh, want to, like, I guess put out a part that I'm proud of. I don't want to, like, put out something that I didn't. I'm not going to, like, put out a video part that I didn't put any energy into. You're not going to bullshit the people out. Yeah, and it's like, you know, I, I, like, as a personal goal, I guess I want to, like, try to make it better than the last one. Or, like, uh, somewhat better. I agree. And it's like, I work, like, working with Minor, he's really, really, like, like, he's like a perfect, perfection, perfectionist? Yeah, perfectionist. Perfectionist at, like, filming and making the part. And, like, the amount of energy that he puts into it, like, you know it's, like, you're working with somebody good, so it's like, you know, it's it's easy to like want to put energy into it because it's you know like, it's going to come out good. Yeah, exactly. It's like you you have endless motivation because you know the harder you try, you know he's going to put out gold. He's yeah. going to do his job 110, like, and that's so important when you're filming because I filmed with some people in my day where you're like, fuck, I don't know if this is going to come out good, like if they're going to edit it good. It's just like very unmotivating because yeah. you're putting in a hundred and twenty percent effort, yeah, you're and then you're like, the shit out of yourself. Yeah, it needs to be matched on the filming side too. Definitely. So that's really and crucial for sure. So, yeah, and, and it's like a lot of the times with minor, like you got to do it again, but it's like in the end, it's like worth it. It's like, it, like he'll just you know he'll be like, ah, oh, like only if he knows you can do it again. He'll just be like, oh, you think you can do it, like, one more time. Well, because you like, know if he asks you to do it again, you know that he wants – he ha- you see his vision, and you're like, okay, yeah. he's asking for a reason, and he's going to make it even better. So yeah. it's like, fuck yeah, let's bleed for it if you got it, you know? Sweat yeah. And bleed. After, like, sitting down with him and, like, looking over clips and then, like, showing, like – he'll just be like, oh, it's fucking – Filmer got his arm in this clip, and, like, barely... I wouldn't even have noticed it. It, like, almost ruined, like, a lot of fucking <laughs> video parts for me because every time I watch a video, I'm just looking for, like... It just stands out to me. Yeah, it yeah. just stands out to me, like, oh, the Filmer... Like, what the fuck? Filmer's arm was in that whole line. Yeah, I remember the day when someone pointed out that, like, a Filmer gave me his perspective, like you're saying, and then you're... That's all you can focus on, for yeah. sure. Like, you're like, oh, damn, it was a little wobbly there. Yeah, it oh. was so shaky. Yeah, like, I wouldn't even see someone's... <laughs> like. When someone would film me sometimes and their shoe would come in frame, like, I wouldn't even notice that normally, you know what I mean? Then they're yeah. like, well, look at his fucking shoe. I'm like, yeah, I should have fucking noticed that. Like, yeah. It's but, it's, and sometimes it's like, just like the, like the little thing. thing. Yeah. Damn. That's cool, though. So you enjoy filming with him. Like, that's your, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. The dude. Yeah. I, that's what I like. I, I like, it's easy to put, like, try to put a lot of energy. And it's, and he's, like, motivating. He'll, like, you know, he'll, he'll like, tell you. You know, you could probably do this or, like, give you ideas and stuff. So it's, like, it's just a good good dude to work with, I think. Is there anyone in skateboarding that you uh, look up to? Like, as a professional skateboarder that you just go, that's the dude that I, like, kind of, like, look up to and thinks, like... I think it was just always Susky, just because I've known him for a long time. And then dude's just, he's just a solid dude, and he's been, like, just killing it for... He's The guy's honestly been killing it for, like, a long time. Longer than fucking... A Most lot of people, people dude, yeah. and nonstop, and every part he's put out has been original and awesome and solid, dude. And he's a vegetarian. He's a vegetarian? Are you serious? The I, guy's a hippie. Of course. But he's not a vegetarian. Fuck yeah. susky has been a vegetarian for so long. You're lying. Call him right now. Get him on the show. All right. That's bullshit. He's I swear, not. he juices and everything, dude. We <laughs> he <fucking> juices. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find a vein. Put a carrot in it. I'm calling him. Call okay. his ass. 
I can't. He's he hasn't been a vegetarian. Like when we were on Zoo and shit, he wasn't a vegetarian. Yeah, I bet he was. You're he lying. Really Brandon's making shit up. No one. Dude, no one. Whatever. Listens. Ask him. Everything he said on the show has been a lie. <laughs> don't listen to Westgate. I don't know what he's talking about. So fucking. I can't believe we had him on as a guest. Fuck. This has just been a disaster. One <laughs> flop after another. They're gonna, I'm just shooting your dreams down. Oh, YouTube's just gonna take the show away from me. This they, is what I'm saying about like. You don't want to know what's up with skaters because it ruins it for you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. I'm fucking bummed. I wish I could put him on speaker. Maybe. Where is he at? Is he, where is he in like Arizona. Arizona? So he's, he's, it's like... Is what? it early? No, it's like 9. 9 in the morning. Or like maybe Susky. Like 10. Well, if he's a vegetarian, he's, he's up. up. He's, he's probably up. Yeah. just already. <laughs> you know, he has a kid, too. So yeah, well, then he's definitely... definitely he was probably up at fucking crack of dawn, like 6 o'clock, like trying to pick vegetables and shit. <laughs> He's not going to pick up. Let's leave him a funny message, though. You just keep calling him. You think so? Definitely. Okay. He's got to pick up. You can't get mad at me. Message. Leave a message. At the tone, please Call back one more time. Let's call back. I will. Leave a message, though, too. Or press one for more options. Uh, hi, Aaron Susky. This is Jeff with uh, your credit card company, and we just think that we're going to take your card away. Bye. <laughs> I didn't really plan that out. That was fucking lame. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, dude. You can do any better. <laughs> He's like, why the fuck are you calling me? He's gonna, you, I just keep calling him like, ch- like ten times. He's our favorite skater. He's just going to tear into us. You're a piece of shit. My fucking kid's sleeping. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm like, hey, you know, you get to meet your idols and they let you down. <laughs> Once again. I was going to say you could call the guy at any moment and he'd be there in the drop of a dime. Once again, Brandon lying. Clearly a liar. That's why I didn't say that. I don't he's, want probably, that. he's probably juicing and can't hear you right now. Well, we tried. We tried, Susk. Get your shit together. I have a question phone. for Brandon. All this fucking shitty fucking snow. I know you, you live in your life so you don't have Instagram, but all I see is people like taking pictures of fucking snow and like, oh, it's a winter wonderland. That's so pretty. Fucking, I hate, I fucking, I wish I could reach through the phone and choke and smack them at the same time. How do you feel about the snow? Uh, I don't know. I like the snow. Oh my God. <sighs> Vegetarian and like snow. snow. No, because it's just like. It's <laughs> oh my just, God. No, that's just the way it is. It's like you go to fucking California and you wouldn't even know it was Christmas time because it's like 70 degrees. It's just weird to me. Just growing up, fucking this is winter time and this is like you live so shitty for like in this cold, miserable time. For three months. Yeah, and you skate the skate park. It's all you can skate and it's like. And then it's just like spring comes and it's like everybody around's happy and excited and like it's everyone's coming out of hibernation. Yeah, it's like oh, people are, they're stoked on the snow now, but it's like mid January. It's just going to be like people are depressed and like oh, another fucking storm coming. All this shit like Walmart's packed for four inches of snow. They got fucking they're gener- they're buying generators and all this shit, and it's like I have a theory. Why I don't know. There's fucking only four inches out there, but <laughs> just shovel it. I have a theory, dude. The East Coast breeds fucking drug addicts because you get used to that. You get used to highs and lows, man, and that's all it is with a drug drug problem. You like you're like oh, depressed, and then you do some drugs and you're high. You're like, <laughs> so I mean, the winter you're like a naturally a drug drug addict because winter you're depressed for three months because you're just snowed in. Yeah. You're like, Fuck, and then the winter comes out. Uh, then the summer comes and you're like, whoa, this is what life is like again. You know, like crazy. Yeah. I have tons of theories. None of them make any fucking sense, but I just tell them. I just say them anyway. Yeah, my theory is snow fucking sucks balls. I fucking yeah. hate it. If I never saw it again, I'd be perfectly fine with Speaking it. Speaking about, like, meeting people you like and the pro, like and seeing their tricks and shit, and then you meet them and you find out, they're like, oh, the dude's a vegetarian and he likes snow and da 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 I only like, like, I mean, I like snow at first. I'm like, the, you know, like, all the other winter land fucking retards, I like the snow at first, and then it's like, alright, this is just too much. Once it, once it gets to that point, I'm just like, oh, fuck, this sucks, but... First, no, I like it. Why don't you have an Instagram? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Everyone know. else does. Join the crew, sheep. I usually I just don't even have my like I don't even have my phone on me right now. It's like what do you, what am I really gonna take pictures of? To send Us? It? Ramsey's beard. You could be like, oh, I'm on the Shetler show right now. Dude, use the fucking what's oh, it called on the Olo clip. Get all the fucking detail. He did, yeah. Of all the ginger. Yeah, look at that thing. Glorious ginger spice. Does it fall out? Do you have yeah. a lot of beer? Uh, fall? Does uh, your beer fall out? All? Don't do it on my laptop. I'm just doing it so you can see. Nothing's coming out, dude. Yeah, there's this one right there. What is that? Damn or was dude. that already there? That was already there. My bad. My bad. Sorry. The beard is glorious. I have there's some beef jerky in there. <laughs> <laughs> no veggies. 
Maybe you should get your fucking arbor equipment and climb up that tower and trim could. that beard. Probably, you need a chainsaw. I'm about to go to his house and trim his tree. Yeah, we're going to film the episode and I'm going to hound you. I'll show you. When you drop me off, I'll show you the fucking yeah. tree. It's not like crazy. It's just, it's dying. So it's going to fall within like two years. And I got little cousins so, I mean, and shit. I don't want to kill my cousin. <laughs> most of the time, it's like you don't even have to climb the tree to get the tree down. I just hook it to the truck and I just cut a notch and have somebody in the truck pull it over. Well, the thing is, we got to push it into my yard. Oh. And you can't get your truck in there. Oh. But, so, I mean, depending on which way the tree's leaning, you, is it leaning, like, the it's other way? It's leaning towards the outside, but we got the fence and everything there, so we need to, like, chop a little block and then pull it into the yard. Yeah. Which is... I mean, I think we should just take the top off, cut the fucking branches off, because there's, like, branches everywhere, like, falling off and just shitty. It's just <laughs> shitty. All right, enough of your... Fuck your tree. Sorry, dude. We're going to film an episode. You're already All ruining right. it. I'm not ruining it. I'm just describing it. He asked the question. Yeah, you're visually painting the episode. Do you All mind? Right, I'm trying to film it and get it going. All right. Uh, Instagram question from Jack Lima 123 He wants to know... He wants me to ask you about winning fan favorite on X Games Real Street Contest. It's fucking sick. That's how, that's how my wood shop came about. Yeah, you won some cash? Yeah. What did you get for that? Uh, I won like 15 grand. What? That's sick. Yeah. And let me get a dollar. For a one minute part. Let me get a dollar. It's spent. <laughs> Shit is gone. That's the double edge. Uh, that's the double edge sword of the fucking uh, contest. There's so much money. Yeah. It's like then the, the next year. Just like take this money. The next year, I'm so pissed. The next year they bumped it up to like fan, fan favorite. I thought I was gonna get fifty grand because yeah. that's what the first place was. Yeah. And then I thought like the judges picked the other pick the the winner yeah. and they get like fifteen grand. But so I actually I was like. I was like real stoked, and yeah. then I was I was still stoked because it's like a lot of money. Yeah. And then the next year they they upped it so like the fan favorite gets fifty grand, and then also like the judge, whoever the, whoever judges, the pick, judges pick gets fifty grand too. Fifty. Fifty. Not fifteen. 50. No, fifty. Five zero. Do you think hundred grand off two fucking things, and that's not even like that's not. Well, a- you'd have to get picked by the fans and by the judges. You got a question, right? Yeah, I got a Facebook question from Colin Blasky. Blasky, whatever. What made you skate up handrails in this day, Gold America video? Or anywhere, basically. Where the f- Why do you skate up handrails? Susky, huh? Yeah, probably. That's. Because I remember he was the first dude to, like, have a cover doing it. We're on the front board on Slap. It's a pressure. What? It's a pressure. It's a pressure pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's a bail shot. A bail oh, bail shot. shot. Oh, 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 come on. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if that quite counts, but. <laughs> <laughs> Shetler shows heating up, baby. Oh, shit. We got Susky Westgate beef now. John and back for hey, fucking If he answered answer this call, call yeah. yeah. The phone. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, damn. Woo. No, I might have been, it might not have been a bail shot. <laughs> I don't really know. I saw the footage. <laughs> Just kidding, I didn't see uh, it. I was gonna say a bit about that. But um, but no, I am sorry to cut you off. What, what what do you think it was? I don't know, yeah, I guess like seeing a little bit of that and then uh Probably, I think minor probably was just like, oh, dude, you could probably, like, get up this or try to skate this or something. So, I don't know. I, I think I just tried. I don't really know how it came about, yeah. to tell you the truth. I think it was just something that, like, I mean, Leo's fucking skating up rails and stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, it became a trend in skateboarding. Yeah, yeah it's definitely like becoming common. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> and it's a cool idea. I think it was awesome. I'm just, just following the crowd. Crazy. Yeah, just bullshit. following the crowd. Um, I got a question, personal question. It's just, um... I feel like Steve Steve Rodriguez from Fibro kind of mentored you a bit in skateboarding and stuff. Like, what do you think of that? Like, is that something that's true? Yeah, statement definitely. Or? He would have me fucking doing lines in the city that I was just like, man, this is so stupid. Like, why am I skating like this? Like, like not like forcing me to do these lines, but kind of forcing me. Like, yeah. I don't know how to really put it. But well, you were little, and he was kind of like, yeah. I felt like he kind of like was trying to, to teach. Do you feel like it was beneficial? Yeah, definitely. Because like looking back, I'm just like, this line is like. It wasn't, like, easy just because it was, like, New York, but it was, like, all simple tricks. And, like, now looking back on it, it was, like, oh, that was pretty cool, like, look in line. But at the time, I was just, like, why am I wasting my time, like, trying these stupid tricks? Yeah. And, like, definitely, like, it was definitely beneficial, but, like, I feel like at he was, the time. I, I feel like, like because I was there for that, and I feel like he's just trying to teach you. Like, because little kids, like, grow up skating, and they just know tricks and, like, jumping down stuff. Or, like, yeah. not even just jumping down stuff, but just doing single tricks. And I think, like, someone has to tell them, like... Yo, people want to see your style. They want to see your push. Yeah, he w- he was, like, really big with that, and that, I think, helped me because, to tell you the truth, I fucking hate jumping down big shit, and Seamus would always be trying to get me to jump down big shit, 
and Steve I always told me that I didn't have to. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think if I didn't hear that, I'd probably just, like, be some guy that just would just jump down just shit. Just a hucker. Cause I, yeah, because, like, I mean, I, I think Steve could see, like, you know, he's, like, see you, when you watch someone else, you can see, like, the way that they work, and it's just, like, I'm just stuck in my own head. So I think he helped me, like, yeah, yeah. like I don't know, find this this other way of skating that I didn't know that I could skate like, I guess. That's right, yeah. I feel like he, Steve's, like, always had a lot of real good advice. He's always, like, yeah. really been on point, and uh, it's a good dude. Steve Rodriguez is class act all Fuck the way. Yeah. Cool, man. That was my question. Cool. I like it. What do you got, Ramsey? I go home and I can't find it. I lost it. <laughs> you can't have dead air, man. You're just uh, giving us dead air right now, you know? Wasting fucking fuck valuable it. YouTube time. That was one. Have you ever considered um, Bata f- all right, Bata four eight nine on Instagram? Have you ever considered bringing the America team up east for a demo in Sandwich or Wareham? Um, some of the guys came up and we went to the boarding house and we went to Solstice. Oh, uh, sick! But we didn't end up doing a demo. I don't know. It's not really like it's not really on me. Like yeah. I, to like plan I don't know the, plan you the would trips. Have a demo in fucking Wareham anyway. Yeah, we can't. I, I guess it would be at the edge or something. You could do one at Skater's Edge for sure. But that's like, I mean, I don't plan the trips. No excuses, man. Oh. If you can't make it happen, dude, let everyone know you're blowing it. Yeah, fuck it, I'm blowing dude, it. Have a demo. Have a big fucking America demo. Yeah, let's get the American to benches. Skater's Edge. No, no, no. Skater's Wear Edge. Wareham benches. Shut up. Dude, you got fucking <laughs> train tracks, the water behind, it'll yeah. look pretty. Skater's dude, Edge. Skated yeah. those benches the other day, actually, like, filmed this line, line with RB for, like, some CCS thing or some shit. I was skating the back, and I, uh... Front board the back. Yeah, you seen that line? I tried to, like, I was like, oh, Smith grind it, because I used to Smith grind it all the time. Fucking kingpin just stuck right Ooh. into the thing and smashed my knee on the edge of the bench <laughs> so hard. Like, awesome, sick, glad yeah. I did that. Um, yeah, dude, let's get an America demo at uh, Skater's Edge. I'll see what I can do. No, don't just, but are you going to really see, or are you just bullshitting me? Probably bullshitting, because it's like, when it's like, like, we're working on this video, so it's like, that's what's sick about actually America because it's like it's a lot of videos. For yeah, sure. a lot of videos and like not like a lot of like not bullshit or something. But they do like the summer tour and then another tour. But it's like it's like some demos, but it's more like I don't know. They're like they're just like skaters, you know. They know like what's what's up, like what skaters like. You know, if you don't skate a contest, those fucking guys don't care. Yeah, they it's understand. Cool. It. How about that Detroit spot that you were telling me about? How you said they bought all those like neighborhoods and shit. Yeah, I think that actually. Uh, you see anything about that? I did. I seen a. It was. An I article. showed you that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I showed you the video. And yeah, fucking yeah. Kids. I think they finished it up. Wild. It was like wild in the streets they had down there. Yeah, right? yeah. And then it was like uh, P Stone. I think was like building some of the ramps and shit. Like oh, yeah. they had a Joe Brooks was out there. Helping out on it. What up, yeah. P Stone? What up, Joe Brooks? On that, video, awesome. on that video, they were talking about they bought some of the houses. Like the cheapest one they bought was like two hundred dollars. They bought a fucking house. Yeah. Like just like this with a yard, everything. Yeah. Just and they like, just built ramps, down. right? Yeah. And they just fucking basically building a neighborhood skate park. Like the whole fucking neighborhood is skatable. Yeah. I, I didn't actually. Awesome. I didn't get to skate it when I was down there, but. I don't know. It's, it's a pretty cool rad idea. thing to Wish do. It it's awesome. That's fucking awesome, and that's what skateboarding is all about, man. Doing cool shit like that, and. Um, America definitely did something really cool right there. So, just let's make a promise. <coughs> if America does an East Coast thing, I'll drop a line. You'll you'll mention Skater's Edge yeah. and try your hardest. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and Solstice. Yeah, because it's like they already no they problem. like pre plan like in my house. They pre plan their trips. I know like, my house too. All right, your house too. They can try the pull out. All right. Okay. Leo, Leo Menendez says, if you could pick a person to ride for America, who would it be? Oh shit! Besides me. <laughs> Damn it, that was my first choice. Uh, <laughs> Is that even the... I don't even know. Yeah, well, you right. Alex Trebek. Jeopardy. Suck it, Trebek. The uh, rapist. <laughs> I'll take the rapist for 500. <laughs> He's like, that's not the rapist, that's therapist. <laughs> you got an answer here? What? No, he doesn't have no, I think I do, cause, just because, like, uh, I think, like, Gravis went out of business and stuff. Yeah. And, um, like, I heard there was, like, talk about, like, Jink Johnson, like, needed a sponsor, so I'm probably, like, him. I think that'd be cool. I don't really know the guy, but I like his skating. But based off his yeah. skating? Based off his skating, definitely, but I don't really know the guy. Well, we'll get him on the show, and then you'll get to know him. <laughs> All right. Okay? That's sick. He'd be easy shredder, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that guy's good. For sure. It's pretty much all the... 
questions on Facebook. All the other ones, it's thirty two questions, and like I got fucking twenty five of them. Are, How'd you get your pop? What no one gives a shit like about his pop? pop. Fuck. Are you happy pop? with your ollies? How do you work on your pop? Did you always have your pop? We already went over that. He just he just he does weight training all the time. He's always wearing. He's yoked up from the waist down, dude. Leg, ankle, fucking. I just waist. climb trees. He's just an yeah. arborist. Um, Devin Little wants to know how old. Wait, how old? How old were you when you picked up your first sponsor, and who was it? Fibro, maybe like. 14 or 15 or something. Yeah, you were just like a little fetus. Yeah, that's a little funny thing. <laughs> you were I'm smaller for your age, too. Yeah, and my board looked really big now, no, looking back I, to the footy. Yeah, your board was like up to your neck. Yeah, and I still had the same size board. Now it's just, now it's come to be like, Normal. why is that board so small? <laughs> no, because every, everyone rides like eight and a quarter. Oh, All right, seven, true. six. That's true. Your, your, your board is skinny, man. Yeah. Oh, shit, I hear people. Yeah, the microphone's that good, dude. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Um, B Hansen 323 wants to know, have you ever declined a sponsor? Like, has, a, has anyone ever tried to reach out to you and you're just like, your shit's whack, yo? Um, I, I can picture you saying it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably just wouldn't call him back if I didn't want to deal with it. Yeah. That's yeah. just what I do. That's weird. Have you ever had anyone call you and you're just off it? Have you ever, like, anyone ever reached um, out to you and you're just like, dude, I don't need fucking your stupid-ass product? No. Nah. No? Nah. Like when did you say your birthday was? 15th. Fe- February? February, yeah. So Wikipedia is dead wrong. Yeah, so wrong. Thank God. <laughs> what does it say about him on Wiki? January. What's the paragraph? 15th. Oh. When he was young, he skated in his hometown and skated his island skate park in Rhode Island. Rest in peace. In 1999, he started a skateboarding career when he ca- became a flow team rider for Five Borough Skateboards. Flow trash. Yeah. He gained some notice in his word of mouth part in 2004, but left Five Borough to join Birdhouse Skateboards. <laughs> in 2005, Brandon joined Zoo York Skateboards and joined America Footwear in 2008. He would later be pro in both America and New York. All right, that's enough. All right. Does it say anything? Is it up to date where it says he's a vegetarian? That's yeah, fucking I weird that that's that. even online. Like, I know. Who the fuck writes weird. that? That's yeah, crazy, right? I don't know either. It's weird. I think someone gets paid to do that, to be honest. I think they hire people to fill someone out content. Is not shouldn't be getting paid that much because they fucked up his birthday. Yeah. And they didn't say he's a vegetarian, so. Man. They don't, um, even, they don't even have your little bio. Is your little like height and fucking how old you are? Weight and shit. Yeah. All right, I got a question on uh, feed. You didn't spell my name right up there, did you? I did. Oh yeah. Feed. So I don't know if you guys know about feed. It's the new social media bullshit. It's like <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you didn't, right? Maybe that's why. Yeah. No, nah, that's not why. Uh, anyway, so here's the question from Brie. <laughs> Get on the yeah, dude. Brie Carlsley or something. She wants to know what your reaction is to California people coming out to the East Coast and being like, "Oh, this spot's too rugged or too gnarly or like." I have the same fucking problem. Yeah, it's. Special. I go to fucking New York. I hate that place. <laughs> <laughs> only reason I go there. The only reason I go there is because it's like, you know, it's people to like film with and. Yeah. Shoot photos, and I don't have to go to California. To All right, go back home at the end of the night. For me, I take pride in having East Coast footage. I feel like it just looks better than like West Coast footage. Yeah. Do you have it? Do you have any bit of that? I mean, yeah, I think it's definitely you can tell the difference. I like the look of it, but I I don't really care. It's like I just be stoked on like getting a good trick somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't matter where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. And either way, it's just like whenever you go to California, it's like even though the spots like usually like nice and smooth and easy to skate, it's like. I still, like, end up working for the trick for, like, four hours anyway, so it's, like, Doesn't in the matter. end, it's the same shit. I just like New York because I can, I can drive there and drive home in a day. I can sleep in my own bed at the end of the night. This guy's a fucking roller coaster. One minute he's, I hate New York. Next minute he's, I like New York. No, like, no, I hate, no, I hate New York. He likes the convenience of how like, close it is. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, I like to, in, to go to California, I have to fucking stay at someone's house or stay in a hotel. Not to mention you have to fly. Fly. So fucking <laughs> yeah. long. It's like, oh, my God. Fuck this. So, what about um, Boston? I like Boston. It's just uh, I don't know. A fucking brick and cobblestone too. I, I yeah, I like it. It's just trying to find like, I guess someone to like film with all the time. Like New York, yeah. I, I just meet up with RBE. Yeah, yeah, the convenience of it. Yeah, and Cronin. So, and I don't have to like be the one to just be like, 
know where spots are and shit. Because I, I never know where spots are anywhere. Yeah. I just rely on other people. So <laughs> if you if you don't have a good spot, like a good like guy that knows spots. You need like, to go out with Pachinski because all that dude does. Yeah, he has so spots. many spots. Yeah. Dude, I saw – see, this is why you need to be on Instagram or feed is because – I saw a photo of him last night blowtorching spots. Out yeah. in the snow, blowtorching them dry. Dude. Yeah, that guy is fucking such a trooper. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Our podcast with him is supposed to go up today. Um, I'm having some technical difficulties, but hopefully I'll have it up in a couple of days. But you should check it out. Uh, you got an iPhone, right? Just yeah. subscribe to the Shetland I mean, Show. I, yeah, no, I did. Cause oh, I, seemed, okay. I was listening to you and Donnie. Oh, right, all right. Did you see the Nick ones up to now, too? No, I haven't checked. If it's updated, if you have the podcast app, which I'm sure you do, if you I had to because yeah. I couldn't do the thing without it. So yeah, then it's already it updates automatically. So check out the Don Pierre one, dude. It's really good, man. I actually hang out with uh, Brzezinski like not that long ago. You did, huh? Yeah, minor like stayed at my house in the summertime and like uh, that dude Elliot was. We were yeah, filming the I remember around. seeing like photos online or something like of you guys skating. Yeah, he came out skating and then we went and, like drink beers and played pool at some fucking bar. Hell yeah. And Pachinski's cool, man. He's yeah, cool he was dude. so tight. He smoked everybody in pool. Uh, I thought he was actually playing. no, he didn't. Actually, Miner was on it that night. Uh, and actually, Miner was really proud of himself because Pachinski was really good at pool. Actually, I thought you were gonna say he just smoked everyone's cigarettes. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, did, smoke, cigarettes. he did. smoke a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> we went to his house in the back of his door. The whole thing is covered with Mar- Marlboro, like like the front of the Marlboro packs, like the package. He just ripped off the front of the packs and glued them, so the whole door is covered in Marlboro. Oh, shit. It's pretty gnarly. Man. Said it's like six years in the work. Yeah, but he was he sounded like he was off cigarettes. He kept saying, I'm more into coffee right now. He's still smoking them, but he sounds like he's kinda changing <laughs> his mind about the cigarettes a little bit. So I don't know. That's the thing, man. Um, cigarettes kill you. Dude, devil. Waste of money, dude. Buy a home fuck instead. Yeah. Hundred grand a year, an average smoker. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Hundred grand in a lifetime. lifetime. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not falling like that. I clearly yeah. don't. Who the <laughs> fuck is buying that many cigarettes in one year? They have that much money to spend on cigarettes. The average, the average smoker that smokes about a pack a day will spend over a hundred thousand dollars in a lifetime. And yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm an asshole, so I don't believe anything. But I read that in a book, and I believe books. So read books. How was your Christmas, man? It was good. We had a uh, Christmas Eve at our house. Did you get anything you're hyped on? Fuck yeah. Bunch of woodwork and shit. Oh, Me so. and my girl just made like wish lists this year because I was like, I've been traveling a lot before Christmas, and then just kind of like, I was like, look, we we've done this thing for the past few years where we have to struggle to figure out what to get the other person. Oh, I've been doing that. So I was like, look, babe, we're like, we've been together long enough to where we've proved our point to like we have like these struggles. So I'm like, I got you this. I don't know if you like. What am I gonna get her? It's All this such shit. a waste. Yeah, and I know she has the same problem for me because she says the same shit. So I was like. Let's just make, you know, go on the computer and make a wish list of all this shit that you want, and I'll just pick stuff through that. Yeah, like, let's so. be logical about it. Yeah, and then she got everything she wanted. I got everything I wanted. That's how you know you're going to be in a good relationship is when you can get through all the bullshit of a relationship because there's so much fucking <laughs> stereotypes and stigmata that come with being in a relationship that you think you have to live up to. When you're in a good relationship, you cut through all that bullshit and go, hey – what the fuck do you want? And they and I know it's not romantic or whatever, but it's dripping. Yeah, you're fucking gonna drip, dude. Oh, really? It's yeah. condensation. It's because it's heating up. But um, so me and my girl did that too. We just decided we're gonna buy ourselves an insert for our fireplace, which we still have to do. But that's what that was our present. And then I just got her like um, a heating pack, and she got me like boxers and socks. So it's like that's a good sign that your relationship is healthy. You know yeah. what I mean? That you guys can be logical about it instead of like having to live up to some bullshit. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's how you know because you have someone practical that you guys can work together and like actually make a relationship work. Um, so that's cool. And you, uh, Christmas was good, and you're hyped on everything. And Wareham's cool. Dogs are good. And you're hyped on your skating, your sponsors. Yep. Do you? Oh, yeah. ha- is there anything else you want to talk about? Anything you want to bring up? Any weird stories? Anything that you think's worthy of talking of? Not that I can think of. Well, how can people reach you, man? Like, if you want them to. If you don't, fuck them. But, I mean, like, I usually give... Like, I do my plugs. Like, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, feed. Probably uh, just go to, like, I guess the Zoo website or the America website. Do you have a Facebook page? Nah, fuck no. No? No Instagram? I don't like any of that shit. It's just garbage. Do you have a... I really don't give a (laughs) shit what anybody else is doing or taking photos of, to tell you the truth. What's your cell phone number? <laughs> yeah, that's not, I'm not putting that out there either. Your mother's cell phone number? Address? You got no, an address? Zip code? 
No, nah, none of that. I just answered all these all these questions. You have fans. You have legitimate fans. Right. You have some obligation to them. I'm just yeah. Saying. I'm just saying. Uh, the fucking probably like America site or like Zoo site. Okay, he's basically giving you a dead end. Yeah. So guys, if you want to reach out, Brandon, fuck yourself. <laughs> if you want to reach me or Ramsey, if you, if you want to meet, reach me, you can reach me on uh, Instagram feed, Twitter, at Anthony Shetler. I also have a Facebook page. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, All I Need Skate. Follow The Shetler Show. Go to iTunes and download it and subscribe. Um, and for Ramsey, where, where can they reach you at? No, Instagram. Ramsey thirty three, Stephen Ramsey Jr. on Facebook, Stephen Ramsey thirty three on Twitter. Stepping my game up, I just got the Twitter. I'm learning about it. Yeah, and Ramsey's the World Industries team chef. Thank you, World Industries, yes. for sponsoring the show. You're awesome. I'm so hyped on everything we're doing. The board graphics are fucking killing it. Yeah. That priest one. Oh, the Pope with the all Pope. The I'm kids, sorry. Yeah, and the kids under the under fucking, the robe. You can yeah. just see their feet. Fucking awesome. Yeah, it's and uh, definitely on. World is killing it, dude. Killing it. Definitely. Um, Olo clip. Good looks again, man. Um, I want to give Westgate an Olo clip, but he doesn't have an Instagram or anything. Um, and he won't take his case off. So. If anybody has bitch. any questions for me, just send it to Shetler and Ramsey. Yeah, if you do, I'll get him back on the show, dude. We'll do it again if I missed out on anything. Solstice Skate Shop. JV, you're the best, man. 15 years deep. Skateboarding. Skateboarder owned and ran skate shop the way it should be. Like. I don't know. Solstice is the best fucking skate shop, period. Hands yeah. down. Ramsey? For sure. 100%. It's, and it's East Coast. It's New Bedford. Jay is like the most legit, awesome, genuine dude I've ever met. Like, And you got no problemo. Two fucking doors Two doors down. down. Best Mexican food and it's skater own skater run too. Like, dude, that's the dream. You know what I mean? Yeah. Skateboarders doing William other things street. too. And William Street in New Bedford is definitely the best street. Yeah, if you're not back in Solstice, man, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's what it is. My girl just turned on Netflix. Yeah. Again, we're plugging Netflix sunny. again. Yeah. Hey, Always man. sunny. Um, I and, a Netflix sponsor. And uh, allineedskate.com. Check it out, man. Six Skate Brand. Back it. Corey Goonan, Billy Drown. All the money I make off of that goes back into the team riders because that's the way it should be. That's how you grow your brand, like, is through them. And uh, the more you guys uh, purchase and go on the website, man. There's an online store, too. Or, I mean, if you don't go to Solstice, if if you don't go to your local shops, like, first check there. Make sure they they, if they have it. If they don't, tell your shop they need to order some all I need. And uh, if not, go online. I got the online store for Last Resort, so all I need – dot big cartel dot com um yeah and support that man it's, all that's going back into skateboarding i'm not taking any of that money and doing any stupid shit i'm not buying stripper poles with it nothing like that it's all going back into skateboarding you know what i mean and uh that'll just help out with everything around here build an east coast skateboarding man that's the way to do it and uh thank you brandon yeah you're thank awesome you. For having me on the show. All right, you got to... The show, the show. This is getting weird. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. Oh. I didn't want to call... Uh, for everyone out there, I, I was kind of like... I didn't want to call it the Shetler Show because it's like, oh, he's naming it after himself. That's but it had a good ring. I originally want to call it... Uh, the you totally want to name it after yourself. Don't fucking fool anybody. <clears throat> I didn't want to name it, it after Ramsey myself, show? but my name had such a good ring. It did. The Shetler Show. It sounds <laughs> cool, man. I don't know what to fucking tell you. I wanted to name it the... Uh, oh, that's goes. fine. That We're still... This is for people on... The, get the podcast. He's not gonna put that much fucking film anyway. Nah, cause, it'll cause be YouTube t- won't fucking be yeah, able YouTube download that shit. I originally wanted to name the podcast the Beautiful Struggle Podcast because it's it's all about skateboarders and their lives and what they're into and just like a Westgate show. That, uh, we're gonna do it, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is a beagle for sure. No, but we are going to do this. We're going to film you yeah, cutting I'll down f- some trees. Yeah, We're gonna film i got to check out to see if I can even cut this tree down safely. Please come up with a little project at home. That it, like, let's build something. Think of something cool, and I'll come over and we'll film it. It'll be like a 15-minute video. We'll put it up on YouTube, and we'll, we'll get a little thing going. It'll be on the All I Need Skate YouTube page. and you know, we can make, If it goes viral, I'll kick you some dough, dude, to get some views. All right. For sure. I don't have a problem with that. I'll uh, show you. I'll, I'll show you all the numbers, and we can like split it. It won't be much, but whatever. It's a little coffee money or something. I'll give you all the wood that you cut down off my tree. I mean, that's good shit. It's yeah. all dried out, dying. Yeah, It'll warm your house nice. I'll take. I'll take that. Take you up on that offer. <laughs> all right, we're gonna end the show. Next, uh, next podcast after this should be Steve Rodriguez or Star, Samantha Star, pole dancer, where yeah. Ar- Ramsey has to arm wrestle her. 
Yep. You think you're going to win? I know I'm going to win. Are you serious? Last night you were sounding shook. I'm just trying to talk myself up so, like, I, I if, if you see it and believe you it. You got to visualize it. Visualize and exercise. It, yeah. And uh, don't forget your Erica Yari yes, uh, thank you mug so that Westgate gave you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Peace, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, that's what the fuck we have to say. Peace.